that was yeah so okay i look mac's not the best person to describe what happened he's got very a very 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 faint understanding of how this shit happened you know honestly i think lantry would be the best guy to explain but he's fucking not here um like the only person here is yeah it's Che, and she's not even like the leader or anything i can fill in the blanks you can do talk, talking okay um g'day king uh, Good night, Mac. Mac. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a way my, way. my name's Mac. Uh, I I got rescued by these guys down in the mines. So because As I was you know, incapacitated and done away with for a good portion of, uh, or regions. of of this, this little endeavor, in control of the faction, my understanding is turn, a party that uh, provides uh, one these guys were mining, right? and they dug down to to like uh, and they hit like a pocket and in that was like this pre-tech like stasis coffin Matrix, and i think that the, the like thing in the, in the stasis coffin was like a psychic brain thing and it fucking killed everybody and uh Every rival and, and was like on the planet must projecting them as like as cunning as test like at the beginning of every using, turn but they're all disappeared now so the fucking whole the owner also gains an additional die and all cutting attacks and defenses on that planet. It appeared as like a big tentacle bloke, and we shot him, and and then he turned into goo, and then uh, and then and then we thought that it was like this old bloke who these these guys would take it to. So we went and found the old bloke's house, and it was full of all this weird shit. And I had a look at this thing; it had like a like a pentagram on the ground with like batteries on it that was like sending Integral power somewhere. And then there was a whole Marines. bunch of other shit. And Capital then fleet. Uh, the old man decided that everything was really dangerous, so they burnt the house down. Burnt it all down. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> So the this. basically uh or your mind is like empty now so you can like send blokes back in there but there might be some more pre-tech brain parasites that like have psychic powers and oh shit. by the way i am Arthur. uh pen. you're a child you don't get to talk to the king sorry hey according to those crazy people i'm some sort of living weapon and i will not be disrespectful no okay According to yourself, you're a living weapon, mate. We haven't heard any kind of corroborating I, evidence whatsoever. I, I like the idea of, like, <laughs> Arthur's like, oh, by the way, I'm Arthur, the guy who just literally just informally is like, good day, king. How would you, how would you address your own monarch? Uh, she's Her Majesty the Queen. Yeah, he, he's Your Majesty the King. He's, <laughs> he's not my monarch, though, so he's just a king. It's not my king. Wait, did we, wait, king, you what's a king? Any royalty? What's a king? Look, uh, this is like a TL2 planet, so he's like a chief at best. Oh, oh, okay, so it's, but it's, I, that's, it's, that's it's like, like the, the head sign, as he's convinced himself he's in charge for some reason. Yes, because he has the, you know, I'm not getting into this, okay, anyway. He, he's just kind of rubbing his temples, and he's like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'll see about sending down some people there to check that out. Uh, anyway, since you have resolved the problem, it seems, and yeah, since it appears that you've resolved the issue, we'll be more than happy to tax on your extended payment onto what we already owe you. That being said, we have got had the time to get that all done, and we ha have taken the liberty of getting it, putting it in a warehouse near your ship. Uh, it will just be a matter of loading it on. At which point, I believe. Ah, uh, you... my good so King, Majesty, whatever. Uh, can we have whatever we found in the mine? It's just old junk that wouldn't be any use to you. <laughs> I would How do you plan on getting that out? It's it was unearthed. It's something buried. It's part oh, of a larger we, structure. You have to. Oh, was it? I thought. I figured we'd just have to like dig around it and then cut it into bits. Well, so it if you're talking about the pod, then yeah, it was like built into the wall. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't like built into the wall. It was built into a piece of metal, which looked like a piece of spaceship hull that, is that yeah, that's more what than likely is part of it. Piece of debris that fell to Earth at some point. 
So it's just a chunk. It's not like a whole ship. It's not the tip of the iceberg. It's it's the whole thing. Yeah, it's probably just like one t- section that otherwise is have broken up. Go. It's probably part of a section that broke up into the atmosphere and that crashed. Yeah. That being said, the king looks at you and I say, "If it is a it it." It is of no consequence to me. In fact, whatever technology would be gained probably would be lost on us. Uh, you are free to take it as you will. Thank you, my king. How do you plan on getting out? Cheers, king. Just, just how do you what? plan on get it out of there, though? Uh, you will carry it with your brain powers, won't you? You can pick I, up heavy shit. Oh, yeah, we don't have to dig. We've got there's like uh, literally. My good cost, king, cost. Uh, is there a place we can hire some, borrow some of your workers, out this piece of technology? All the money's um, Unfortunately, yeah, I was about to say. He looks at you and he says, "All the workers, according to you, are gone, so it will take even us time to recuperate our losses in the at section." So. Short answer, no. There's mining equipment down there. I'm pretty confident we could just do it ourselves. True, I mean, it would, yeah. take, it would take time, but yeah, we could do it ourselves. Yeah, we, thank you, my good king. You are a wise and humble man. Fucking suck up, go. Yeah, what a little bitch. <laughs> okay. God uh, damn. Uh, <laughs> what's, the, what's the next thing? That was that. Okay. Mac has no uh, idea what the actual reward is. He's just going to hope that that's, that's okay. There is uh, one more thing. We did lose somebody in the job. I am uh, sorry to hear that. The Big 8 perished in one of the mines. Was that the rather large fellow? I guess. Yeah, yes. The one who is exceptionally rude. In the one who's snooping. Oh, well, yeah. Yes. Ah, well, even though I didn't necessarily enjoy the man, I will not say that it is. I am so. I am not sorry. What am I trying to say? I am sorry for your loss. Other than that, say, choose your next words carefully. <laughs> yes, I am sorry for your loss. And you shall compensate us for. As far you, as the I know, waves hand. No. You will compensate us. As far as I know, you've gained more crew than you've lost. So, in this sense, the compensation plus there was no promise of hazard pay. So, see, yeah. While I am sorry for the loss of your man, I do believe the payment offered as well as. What do you manage to salvage from the mine will be more than enough to compensate Very for well. your time, effort, and losses. Very well, we will leave. We will take a leave. Okay. Anything else? Is there anything else we need to do while we're here? Uh, what was the question? Uh, oh, Kane is a question. Uh, what the contract you were buying and giving me a little sum for? Wait, what? When I contract the mine? Yeah, he was... No, he wasn't... Okay. You signed a contract with the miners. That contract specified that, that you would offer them a certain amount of work for a certain amount of time. The king has literally bought that contract and more or less handed it to Ryan. Or not Ryan, to uh, what was her name? Kira. Um, Kira. Now that Kira's gone, technically you're contractless. So you could leave at any time and just be like, yeah, fuck you guys. Hasn't but... you already signed a contract now for partnership? Yes. You are bound to us. I'm sorry, but he, he, you've been bound by the one with rings power. Exactly. Like the captain gets the one ring, it seems. Nothing personnel. He's just disappeared. He's going to appear behind you next. Look out! <laughs> oh my.
前は、死んだ。<笑><笑>何 Okay, what's. So that's that. All right, so let's collect our reward. Once we get that stowed away, we'll figure out what to do with the,、uh, the pre tech crap and how long it's going to take for us to dig that shit out, carve it up. I don't、uh, care if this is the first time being done. Mr. King, can you at least、uh, provide us with some labor to load the stuff out of the warehouse on the ship? Because, by my brief understanding, there's like,、um, there's like, we haven't got anything to carry shit with. That should not be necessary,、yeah. as it is only a couple of chests. Oh, oh, my. Look,、it's, as I said, I it's just. High value, you... small. It's high value, small and high value. Yeah. All right, cool. That's good. We'll just,、uh, we'll, we'll, we can just take care of that ourselves then. I thought it would be like big mountainous p i l e of crap.、Um, he, he has shown us in the past, like, is it platinum? Platinum. That's big old platinum. Yeah. platinum. Yeah, basically, yeah. Which is very high value. Basically, a chest full of platinum bars. Spicy. All right, cool. If you want to lick it, then sure. We'll, 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 we'll get, put that on the chest and then we need to value that. We, we need someone to tell us how much that's going to be worth and where we can get the best price for it. Because we do have to liquidate that into credits, otherwise, we can't pay our bills. Well,、uh, the thing is, you're on contract with a company right now. The company is paying you to haul cargo from their world to this world, mining equipment, and then with the express purpose of you bringing them back said payment. They did sweeten the deal by giving you some goods on top of that, so you are going to be getting a piece of the pie, but the, line, the majority share is going towards the company you're working for. That's okay.、Yes. That's a way better way of explaining it than everything that I've heard up to this date.、Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fine. That's sort of, that mining equipment, do we still have that on board the ship, or have we already offloaded that? It's already been offloaded. Yeah, we've already done that, yeah. Cool. We did that, and then we went down to the mine. Yeah, right, it, cool. It just took a, it just took about a week for them to actually get the payment all together. Yeah, and that's kind of why you guys are still around. We will put the platinum on the ship, and then go back to the mines and pick up some of those rock cutters that those miners were using as like ranged weapons. And I'm sure that between Arthur and Mac, we have the the skills necessary to turn them back into mining. Equipment and、um, sounds like a plan. And dig out the side of the ship that we need, and then we can carve it up with our tools. Yeah.、Uh-huh. All right. Evan.、Oh. Okay. Yeah, seven. Okay. Um, Do you need me to roll as well, or what do you want us to do?、Uh, no, that seven will work. That, that's not related to here, I don't think. Well, it's related to taking out the thing, isn't it? I'd imagine. And if、yeah. that's the case, then it's probably going to take you guys about three days, and you'll get about two units of pre deck scrap.、Uh, I want to say I won't help with this, but I will、Why、take my mining equipment to the other mine where Big Eight was buried. God, I still very much have the thought in my head that he's still alive. Yeah, that's fine. You can do that. Yeah, so I'll be digging at a different mine. <laughs> uh, Kane, are you going to go with、uh, Shay? And we'll have Arthur and Mac digging out this crap, and you and、uh, Jay can go and look for Big A. So that's、hey, what we do for the next few days. There is,、um, correct me if I'm wrong, Hans, but there was a TL4 mining like, vehicles. Am I wrong with that? There were some. Well, it was, I, 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 it was, mainly, it was mainly TL4. Mining equipment like hand equipment, TL3 mining rigs, like, 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 like transports as well. But the main like haulers were just horse and cart, mainly because they just、yeah. didn't have the power sources to keep TL4 or TL3 machinery、true. running.、Okay. 
for long extended periods. Okay, so. All right. Well, we'll we'll use whatever we need to to get this stuff out and uh, in a in a safe way as possible. We don't want any cave ins or anything. All right. Um. In yeah. No. That. Uh, no. Let's actually get another roll. Let's. Can I pilot the mining equipment? I was actually about to say, if you want to use like the heavy machinery, that is going to require a pilot. Remember the the tunnel to get into where the pod was was like very small. It was like one person wide, maybe two. You'd have to more or less use some of the equipment dig out to, more of it. Yeah, cut it out a bigger hole. Since it looks like the tunnel leading in was mainly done by. Uh, conventional means such as a rock drill or perhaps even just a pickaxe over a large period of time. Let's think. Uh, How much do you know about mining? Yeah, exactly. He's not not a great miner, <laughs> but in terms of actually manipulating the device, he's, I'm pretty confident that I'd be able to 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 operate the machine uh, to an effective level. But that's, uh, that's not my worry. It's more you. Burying yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, no, the whole <laughs> we'll keep it with like with like hand shit. I'll just do my own fix roll. If that's okay. Yeah. Use dexterity the for the uh, for the 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 fine. Uh, what is it? What are they? Uh, Manipulation. The... Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Since you're trying to do it a bit quicker. Um, Arthur manages to get two units of salvage altogether with an encumbrance of two each. Uh, to get the majority of what's in there, though, you are going to kind of have to haul it out and you need a little bit more space. And with that, while he is working on the pod itself, you cut that time from three days down to one day. Okay. Well, specifically 18 hours. That is an heroic result. Is it? There's like a in the first edition book. There's like um, what what each number can kind of represent the complexity of, and like a thirteen is like you create a supercomputer out of a piece of cheese and some string. <laughs> <laughs> no, but fucking um, anything above like it's like anything above a twelve is really 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 good, and then anything fifteen and over is what is essentially heroic. It's cheese and supercomputers. All right, cool. So we did a good job. All right, so guess what? Che and uh, che and Kane, you got one day to find Big 8 <laughs> before we're Plastic. fucking done. It'll stop speeding stuff up. <laughs> All right, Che, how do you uh, go about trying to find Big 8? Uh, so it's basically just a combination of, well, just try and get into that mine where apparently he was buried. So digging shit away using telekinesis to move the rubble out. Uh, right. Yeah. You start, yeah, you start down the mine and eventually you get to the tunnel that you were told that Big 8 was in, or rather got collapsed over him. And... Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Kane just rolled survive with an in. Okay. Yeah, uh, Kane just kind of Dies. I trick one for another. Hello, I pull Big 8 out, but leave so, Kane in there. For okay. those who have not created no, their character like yet, around. pipe them oh, available now he's up until the game paid. in VC. <laughs> Which actually rocks because we're inside a mine. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, rock berries. Ooh. I've heard of these. <laughs> But no, you start moving things, and after uh, about the same time, if you're using your telekinesis to speed up the process, as well as um, if anybody's helping you, you eventually clear away a lot of the rubble, and you don't find a body. Oh, you busted. Got it. <laughs> oh god, everything you're rolling. <laughs> Kane is having a little bit of trouble. It's just a struggle to survive for this guy right now. <laughs> can't shoot, can't survive, can't exert himself. He can. He's like, he can't even lead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, six, that's a simple. That's a simple minimum. Absolutely. He could what? 
I, I think he just successfully ordered at, at a restaurant with a waitress. He's ordering, she's like, dig that rock. It's like, yes, that, that's what I was going to do. Thank you. <laughs> I know about that. He's like just slowly like realizing I'm not as young as I used to be as he's like starting to like have a mid I did roll six, but with a one. Wow, these rolls. How did they go? What was their result for finding Big Eight? Did they get a corpse? No, they didn't find anything. Oh, okay. So the roll done? Oh my god, please stop rolling for the love of god! Just stop. <laughs> 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 yeah. <What? laughs> Stop oh, rolling no. before you just die, okay? Yeah, you really need to stop making these rolls before you J actually hurt yourself. JK is, like, <laughs> is like, I'm gonna leave, and then all of a sudden you just like, you just, like, you just hear like bones boring <laughs> just behind you, and you just see them on, on the Starships, the history of space. Okay, me. I just hear loads of rocks just fall, like, I start digging still, like, it's like, oh, I found a hand, I dig it, oh, it's, oh, it's just Kane, I thought I found it's it. Just <laughs> Somehow he's got himself buried ahead of you. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's load this shit up. How much fuel do we have in this ship? Supplies, stuff like that. You're actually good for a, another spike drive. Uh, you are so, but just stop. Just stop, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, I think most of these you have rolled ones with. Yeah, most of these you've rolled ones with. That's... <laughs> Young rock woman. Okay, so Kane's hallucinating off the rock berries at this point. <laughs> anyway, um, you're good on supplies. Uh, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Life support wise, you're good. Fuel wise, you're gonna Weapon have to make stop off, but there is a refueling station that you guys hit up one time before. Um, other than Pipe. that, engine you optimization. Guys look to be good to make the engines be have been optimized for real space maneuver. Let's go. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, yeah, I agree we have to leave, but like, Chave firmly believes Big Eight is alive here Eternal somewhere, but she's reactor. completely out of leads. <laughs> Placed with effect and his body isn't here. Like, where has his body gone? Okay. Um, on, I will use. Does this a planet have some kind of it in it? No, it's literally it's like medieval. Yeah, it's medieval. Yeah, it's medieval, and the only civilization is a mining operation slightly to the north. Well, not slightly, heavily to the north, and do mind you, this planet is Jupiter-sized. Yeah. Um, so my idea, Che, is that we provide uh, someone with some compensation, pardon me, provide someone with some compensation, and we get them to look for Big 8 in our absence, because we have to move on. Otherwise, we will... Uh, void our contract and get in trouble with our individuals who are hiring us for stuff. That's true. We don't really have any local currency, though, to pay anyone. Which is why I was thinking we would provide them with some uh, tech that is not very freely available. I think we'd <laughs> rather we go back to proper civilization and then get people to go, like, send people back or, I don't know, hire T or 4 if people. If you're happy to do that, that's fine. We can do that. I mean, uh, I don't really need this laser pistol. That's what I was thinking. It's like, I could, I've, I've, I've got a laser pistol that, admittedly, it is my only laser pistol, but I don't intend on shooting anybody in the next, you know, year or so. Yeah, I think still. Just give it, someone I mean, a laser it, pistol. It, it might cost more, but having people with proper, like, scanning equipment and stuff would be better than getting blue calls with some sort of humanitarian to hunt him down. Especially right. when there's a demon thing out here, whatever. It was your call, and that's that's the decision you yeah. come to, so that's what we'll go with. That's fine. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Um, oh my god. I mean, just you just... Cool it, man. All right, just cool it. Okay, so we've got to go. So that means I have to make a roll to navigate. Correct. Success. 
Hold on. I just, I just need a second to take in everything that's happening with Kane, who I'm thinking may or may not have simultaneously broken a mirror, like a hundred mirrors at the same time, as well as walked up dirt ladders just for the, his entire life. But yes, you need to make a roll. Let me find that roll before Some thrower plus zero, 2d4 damage. Flat. Power out. three. Oh no, I mean, as long as the difficulty is of 10 or less, which I believe the majority of just regular spike drives are, unless I'm doing something absolutely insane, uh, I automatically succeed. Oh, single quote. I think that's a error. Fuel bunkers. Cargo space. Sure Let me just confirm. So you guys don't do a lot of space travel. Let's see. Base Atmospheric configuration. Seven. You have a rudder less than a year old. Zero. Diesel's distance per two full hexes. Are you trimming? Uh, yeah, I will. I'll trim up to difficulty of 10 because I'll still automatically succeed. Yeah, no, actually, it's literally just 10. So, yeah, you just automatically succeed. Nice. So, let's see. A... A trim makes it so that your spike drive counts as one rating better, if I remember correctly. That'll half the amount of time that it takes. Indeed, Did we and need to refuel? you will at one point. You're going to have to refuel because your ship is only spike drive one. One. Yes, which means we can store three. Oh, uh, shit, yeah. I... Two plus the fuel bunkers. Yeah, for some reason I thought for some it was uh, spike drive something uh, too. But yeah, you can go. You can go. Two sixteen. The... Refuel like on from the star, and then just jump down here, and then one more. How? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Bobby, like our previous pilot, able to do it not two jumps or something. Yes, which because because he could trim the course, and then he had. I forget what it was, but it allowed him, but it made the uh, ship engine count as one better uh, okay. for... That would be purposes. start there with so, two. Start uh. there two. So he could literally have the spike drive one ship count as a spike drive three ship. But That's since I don't, we don't have that. spike drive two anymore, yeah, you're going to have to take it in shorter hops. Uh, so basically, what are we what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna take uh, one jump to go one hex. We're gonna have to refuel in O three one five, then we've got to make two jumps to O two one seven, and then over to O one one seven, and then over to double O one eight. Why? Well, hold on. Why wouldn't you just jump to zero two one six? Oh what eight? Because a rating one. The... Yeah, a rating one can only go one hex per jump. And technically, you can't even go into those hexes. That's right. The ones without a system in them? Yeah, then yeah. you need a gravity well to mag like to like uh, to get onto, unless they've got like a trading lane, which I don't see there are any locked on this map. Yep. Are we stuck? Can we don't get out of it. <laughs> no, you can because you can trim the course and. From That'll let me jump to three one yeah. five. Yeah, I'll get you down to zero two one seven. Could you imagine just being stuck to these two stars or the retarded <laughs> campaign? I mean, or... until I leveled up to the point yeah. where I could also just grind some levels. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> just try and shoot people in the street for experience. Um, How much is this orphanage worth? Jesus. <laughs> murder orphans as my goal. Okay. So. Uh, oh, yeah, I shit goals. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to goals. Yeah, I did goals as well. Did I write down okay. one? Oh, I've got one. Oh, I'm going to fail that. Oh, well. I didn't write down goals for this session. Okay. So, I will. Uh, I'll still trim the course to half the amount of time because, uh, as my understanding, how many people we've got on the ship? We've got Lantry. We've got. Bill, we've got Kane, six, we've got Mac, seven. we've got Arthur, Che. Uh, should and... be in the couch sheet. Uh, Lachy, Che, blank. Yeah, six plus Billard, so seven. Uh, Arthur's seven. going to be walking on his uh, 
machine gun. That's fine. He can do that. Uh, what I'm concerned with is the maximum life support that we have on board the ship. Because if I recall correctly, in first edition, you didn't get much. Uh... No life support? Yeah. Oh, max crew is six on the ship. Yeah. Uh... Well, bye, Billard. I guess I'll leave Billard on the planet. No, because I know there's a way that you can, uh, yeah. Crew, life support system can sustain for two months. That uh, was well, theoretically possible. Uh, wait for mandate. How about this? Uh, you will, you could technically take one person over. The only issue is you are basically going to be cutting your life support by a fourth. Sorry, by you will be. Yeah, your life support will only be act as a fourth as effective. So instead of gaining having two months, you will only have two weeks. Oh, we have two months worth. Yeah, per you have two months of life support. If we have six when, people. When you have six people, but since you're over that limit, we're just going to cut it to a fourth. So now you only have two weeks worth of clean air, oxygen, and shit. food. Okay, so that's uh, two days, three days, five days, two days. I guess it takes us one week to move one hex in and out of system, and that'll be shorter when we move through O three one six. Okay, so we'll use one week of supplies. I will trim the course. I will assume that we have an up-to-date rudder and uh, we'll move from 0415 to 0315. Yeah, I know, right? Crazy. All right, and yeah, you jump over to 0315 and do... So it takes seven days. Uh... Yep. There is... Yep. And there is actually... Oh. I thought there was a refueling station here. Nope. You will have to refuel from the star. Unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately as well. I believe that takes a week. <laughs> okay, so we will just stop the death. Um, actually, there is there is a research base in this a, a fairly well known research base in this um, planet. It's studying the culture of the planet Hald, which is a populated world which happens to be TL zero. Well, okay. What's TL zero? TL zero is like their life cavemen. They're literally cavemen. <laughs> That's tier one, isn't it? No, one is like rudimentary tool, zero is like cavemen. Yeah, it goes literally TL zero, cavemen, TL one, bronze age, TL two, yeah. medieval, TL three, modern, TL four, quote unquote, modern, TL five is normal. Okay, yeah, yeah. TL zero, it, most clubs. TL six, okay. uh, literally magic. If we don't talk about TL6. But yeah, um, you could potentially... You could potentially try and, like, take up a little bit of refuge at the research base, or even go so far as to land on the planet. I will be right back real quick. I'm going to go get some water while you guys decide your decision on how you're not going to starve to death. <laughs> it's not so much a starving to death, it's more the suffocating. It's really bad, because you just run out of oxygen. Can we not refill oxygen from the, ba the station? Yeah, we will be able to when we get there. But that's like, it, they, they count as life support units, quote unquote, and they cost money to refuel. And it yeah. depends. So the, the life How much support. Money does that cost? Uh, it was 20 credits per unit in the first oh. edition. I haven't checked second edition yet. That's absolutely nothing. Um, where would it be in maintenance, do you think? Sorry, it was 20 credits per person per day. That's still not a lot of money. 
Uh, so you're talking about 140 per day, which isn't really too much. Uh, I thought it was going to be like thousands or something. No, no, no. That's the fuel cost. The fuel is like 400 credits a unit. So the extraction process for fuel scoops is actually four days. My bad. Uh, yeah, I thought that was it. But uh, still, we've only got 14 days. And we've already used seven of them. Just So we've used five. We're at the outs, outside edge of this system. Um, and we have to use two days to decide whether we want to go to the moon first or if we want to go to the station first. Why the moon? Not the moon, sorry. The, 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 the planet with the research base on it or the actual star? Yeah. I think we should go to the place where there's people because if we go to the place where there's people, they might be able to give us food and we might be able to get through here. I'm thinking that there is a good chance that they have uh, some supplies that they could offload on us because we might not be the only people who have ever been in this situation before. Well, we could always, uh, you know, take some of those... Take some of those TL... Take, some... take over the whole planet. No, it's not going to work. All right. Uh, what's plan B? Uh... <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I check my system, uh, the, 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 the planet has an invasive and toxic atmosphere that kills you if you go into it. Ah, okay, that's not so bad. probably landing on the planet without vac suits is a really, really bad idea. And even with vac suits, there's a good chance that whatever toxin it is that floats in the air is going to burn through our suits after all. It's not wrong. So these ne Neolithic people live in caves. They're literally cavemen, not by so that, need, but by necessity. They could have a genetic adaptation. So they could have like horribly calloused rock skin or something like that. That could be adapted to the planet. So let, let I guess me get the researchers about how long how long is the travel from here to our destination? Which one's our destination? O double O one eight? On the purple, I think, yeah. Yeah, okay. So if it's double O one eight it would take so it's two days to leave a planet in system to the fringe, and then each jump is six days, but I cut that in half by trimming the course to three days. You do have a fuel bunker, so you could try and jump again, but that would be cutting it fucking close. I mean, if we jump one more time, I think I could move two hexes, but we're going to run out of food, if I recall correctly. So we're still on the fringe of the system. So we've taken two, three, that's five days. And we've got to take another uh, and we have three days. days so that'll be days, nine days and another three days, which will be 12 days plus two is 14. We could make it all the way to 0217 if we take make another two hex jump, which I can do. But I might actually have to roll on that one. Because we're jumping into 0316 or 0216 first. And I don't know if... I mean, out of character, I don't know if there's any kind of route through there. Or if there's any kind of jump beacons or anything. Because um, if food is issues, then can't we... Uh... No, Kane, you don't have the uh, the foci that we need. You, yeah, issue. you're even worse than me. <laughs> uh, if food is issued, then can't we just restock from the research station? That's, That's not a guarantee. We don't need, we don't need a roll, Kane, if we need a foci. <laughs> also, pilot in decks, by the way, not in. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it could be either. It depends. If you're like taking your time, you could make a question. You could make a uh, the argument for int, but yes. if you're like, sure. I'm a leaf on the wind, then that's that is luck, right? Isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, but still, I still roll three d six plus five. So <laughs> I have no planet, good, by the way. <laughs> good chance I'll beat you guys. Jay is somehow like a really good pilot without having any experience being a pilot. It's really, it's really good. Probably my second pilot let's in <laughs> try not die. Okay, what's next? Uh, okay, so let's go to the station just to fucking see if they've got some food for us. Because we just need to restock on life support and then we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. So I will use two days to get there. So we have seven days left. Um, yep. We're at yep. the orbital station. I will attempt to hail them. As we approach. Uh, 
Just real quick. Oh, I wait, no. From, I will attempt to hail them from the edge of the system because you could totally fucking do that. Before we spend two days going there, let's send them a message first and ask. One quick question. It only takes six hours to travel between celestial bodies or regions in space. So it'll We're six hours outside of the system, though. We're, like, uh, on the fringe. It takes Doesn't it take two days to get to the fringe? Nope. The base travel time for moving inside a region is six hours. Oh, wait, no. That's moving within the region. Uh, base travel moving between regions. Yeah, it takes two hours. My bad. Looking at something else. Two days. Anyway. That was... Yeah. So yeah, you can send them a transmission. It would basically just be a burst transmission or essentially a directed beam of light, which would take probably a few hours to get there. So you send that transmission out and then it just becomes a question of waiting a couple hours. Uh, Arthur was do this entire time was walking on his machine gun fixing it can you not maybe work on the ship and jury rig something together being the little genius you are this is like uh, use yeah, that fixed probably, skill probably i don't know it depends if we have it's a food problem i can't create food no but could you i don't know the ship run faster know. we got no uh, more the life support I mean, all things considered, you could put Arthur back in the box. Do we still have that box? I, would, uh, I imagine you guys... I'm pretty, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's okay. Yeah. It's just a case of being off. What's that over there? Walk up behind Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't get> <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> what, wait, what, what, what over where? <laughs> Chloroform. <laughs> Pocket sand. <laughs> <laughs> because it's creating a line of small candies, yep. I thought you said candles at first, I was like, that's not gonna help, that's gonna burn the oxygen. <laughs> no, but after a few hours you get a coded transmission, not coded, you just get a transmission back from the station saying they'd be happy to host you while you get your things in order, however they can't really accommodate more supplies than giving you guys a few meals on station. Which roughly translates to you're not going to be spending as much life support getting while your ship refuels from the star. But doesn't someone need to pilot a ship around the star? Yeah, they will only be taking up the normal amount of. Uh, wow. I guess we need to unload one person, don't we? Yeah. All we right. could unload one person, then go back up to well, let's see, fourth. It took you how many days to get here? Uh, five to get to the fringe of this, where we are right now. Five. Okay, so that is four. it'll take us two two days to get to the station, and then six hours to get to the planet. Six hours to six hours to get to the star, and then six hours back again. All right. So if you unload someone just putting around in this station uh, in this system, you'll have about a month of. Uh, life support for me. That's fair enough. I suggest we unload. Since he's not here, Lantry, he can tell some stories. <laughs> Keep them entertained. Uh, yeah, and when we get to wherever it is we're going, Bill's out. He's gone. I'm getting rid of him. At gunpoint, if need be. <laughs> <laughs> is it K Kane's looking to get a second follower, by the way? <laughs> Remember, Kane is your captain, technically. Yeah, well, guess what, Kane? We can't feed the crew, so who's non-essential? The guy who can't talk and doesn't do anything except for walk around with a clipboard, or the dude who's piloting the ship? <laughs> wow, we've... There is a... You can't you can extend the life support. Like You can't get stuff to improve it. Yeah, of course. We can get upgrades, but we haven't got any money at the moment. That's true um, as well. So... Yeah, that in the future it's going to be great because uh, when you upgrade your spike drive and increase your life support, you've got twice as much time, and yeah. everything takes half as long as well. Oh, because it's only work on a fighter. Uh, no, no, it works on everything. Okay, it's just an increase of credits mass. Okay, oh. so we will uh, go to the station and we'll drop off uh, some. 
Oh my god. Hey, Blank, you're right in time for the, <laughs> the Hunger Games. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, basically, because I brought the crashing reality of space travel down to Stars Without Number, uh, we, we, we have to deal with things like fuel and, and food and how long it takes to move from place to place. Basic, basically, it's all uh, Bill's fault. Uh, <laughs> we have too much crew and we can't feed everyone to travel back. <laughs> this is correct. You have essentially, with Billard or just your additional one crew member, you more or less have uh, quartered. quartered your life support. So it's gone from two months two. down to two weeks. Two weeks. And that's not enough to get back to where we came, came so, from. Billard's the problem, right? I mean, you're like... <laughs> Well, the one of the additional crew is the problem, not necessarily Billard. Yes, but Billard's the only crew member who isn't controlled by a person, so he's the most non-essential. What are you trying to administrate there, friendo? He's it's above it. He's trying to get a temporary contract for Bill to work. <laughs> All right, yeah, you guys kind of pull. okay. Well, first, you guys aren't even on the station yet. You're still. Oh, yeah, they just told us. <laughs> just haven't moved there yet. Okay, so we have to move into the system to do the fueling anyway. So I will head towards the station with the ship. In the next two days, we have to fucking draw straws and figure out <laughs> who's gonna get kicked off. I mean, you know, it's gonna be Bill. How are you going to the station? What vehicle are you using to do that? With what? He just supermans. He's just gonna. Oh! <laughs> anyway, yeah. You Jokes. Guys, you guys start your way over to the research base, and eventually, after two long days where you can almost taste the oxygen getting a bit stale, uh, you arrive and dock at the station, and. Uh, you, it's a rather modest looking station. It looks like it's more designed for long term small crew operations rather than hosting, well, anything more than like eight or nine people at a time. So, you guys got like security? You oh, Jesus Christ, you Alpha, on... we're not. We're not Alpha, on <laughs> we're not doing that. Yet. <laughs> Okay, so Arthur goes back in his box. Uh, Lantry and Great. Bill go hang out on the station, and the rest of us will go and sit outside the moon for the next four days. Not the moon, the sun. My apologies. So hold on, let's let's find out what actually happens on the station. You guys are trying to move really, really fast, but I'm sorry, that's not how real life. That's not how stars with that number works. But anyway, um, you make it into the station and you're greeted by two very similar looking people. They're both uh, middle-aged men, slightly balding. They look like they're probably brothers. And too bad, you are probably gonna have to roll again. <sighs> anyway. Um, they look at you and they say, hi, yeah, we were really, really surprised to get any contact. We normally don't get anyone out here other than our resupply ships. Uh, we're more than happy to host you for a couple of days while we refuel, but we can't exactly restock you. Sorry. No, that's okay. We've, we've done some calculations on our end, and it looks like we're going to be in the clear. If you can take care of one or two of our members whilst we're refueling, that's going to tremendously improve our chances of getting to where we're going. Yeah, we do more than happy to. But is like security on the station? You, no, you shush! Kick! Kick! <laughs> in just... case our members get attacked, they'll be... We just don't... Just... Don't let Arthur on the station. Arthur's not. Arthur's, Arthur's going to be... Can I... I'm going to use my fix skill to produce a uh, a, a gag, like a saw, like the movie saw, that you that, that I can just, like, weld onto his fucking head. 
Apparently, Billard has put a burlap sack over Arthur's head. <laughs> He's being kidnapped. I mean, ha. you know, we should have put a plastic bag in you and just squeezed. <laughs> That's a bit extreme. We don't want to kill the kid. Sure. That, sounds like, that sounds like Plank. <laughs> that that yeah, is like Let's be honest, that's Plank. But if he, like Arthur asked that, they're like, well, no, it's only us. But, I mean, what are, what's someone going to steal? Our coffee mugs? That's about the most valuable thing we have here. It's more just research data, and even that only has the academic value. I mean, what are you guys researching? I, well, the, hey, I'm, I'm going to point over to Blank and say, look, I learned one thing in my time, and that is scientists is going to just do the science. And don't don't poke into it. Or you, might, like, you might learn something you will regret. Yeah, what are you guys researching? Okay, all right. We're researching the culture of this planet, how they react to their environment around them, as well as every once in a while, we send down a probe or a robot or two to collect a genetic sampling and try and figure out what makes them so resistant to the very toxic atmosphere. Ooh, oh, it's like, oh, do you know what the symbol is? And he pulls off his shot and it shows like a kind of Ubermensch tattoo. Like, do you know what this means? Because I, I, I don't know, remember anything about my past and I'm just get, trying to figure this out. They look they look at it and they look at each other and they're like, I'm sorry, we have no idea. We've, that symbol looks corporate, but other than that, I can't tell. Okay, that's, that's two things that are useless. Well, uh, thank you for your hospitality. Shuffle off the two crew members who uh, who need to stay. So I'm yeah. guessing that's going to be Billard and Lantry. Basically, yeah. Yep, right. Lantry's like, let me, you a, let me tell you a story as the airlock closes. Behind <laughs> Bill. Billard's looking back longingly, like, please no. So we will be back in four days and 12 hours. <laughs> Does it refill us completely? No, it gives it's one jumps worth of fuel for four days. So, I mean, oh my god, days are long I mean, in this. Everything's long. You are, I mean, you already have one jump remaining because you do have the fuel scoops, and I imagine that you guys had actually refueled beforehand, so you should be good on fuel. Well, you're down one. I'm. Let's put it like so the, the idea is to get back to our, where we came from with no fuel, basically. Or, oh, I mean, jump fuel. Well, you have... Right? Yeah, essentially. You will get back okay. to where This gets us the minimum to get back. Bingo. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright. Then we I go mean, and we do that. Unless... The fueling isn't the issue, it's just the um, life support that's the issue at this point. Uh, well, that's the thing. So I, I'm looking at, yeah, yeah, I'm looking ahead on the map. Uh, so if we've got two jumps, then we I have mean, two jumps. Over to there. Over to there. The fuel scoop, we can yeah. always refuel with a star. Like if, the, if there's a nearby star or a gas giant, we can always refuel. It's just a life support. That's our issue at this moment because of the because this fuel scoop, you know, mitigates the need for refueling at a station. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look. Fuck yep. me. We can improve the life support though, you can double it so that would easily cover that, but we just need to buy it. Yeah, it's just like life support thanks to Bill. Yep. God damn it, Bill. Right now, our objective is uh, 0117. Because 0117 is literally the only TL4 planet in a two jump radius. <laughs> In the in the right direction, like there's this lower corner is just garbo, absolute garbo. <laughs> uh, Hans, what's the spike drive on our ship, by the way? One. It's one, one. but it's increased to two, isn't it? Or... Oh yeah, because ah. it's got it as second four car. Yeah. No, I don't have the, the second oh, level of the four car. Oh, I'm you can trimming trim four. So you can just you can trim, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. we had Bob, we had Bobby before who increased it. 
that's how we got into this bad situation. <laughs> Don't let the pilot leave next time, okay? Well, it's like, well, if we get to a station, I can probably upgrade the life support for... Oh, need to get to a ship. That costs thousands and thousands of credits. Yeah, just I get, just think... get, just get me the parts. I'm the, I'm one of the best. Well, this... that's what they told me. I'm one of the best. Okay, okay. Yeah, now you tell us this. Let's sort, let's, you know, sorting out here. You might be the best, but you know, we don't have the money to get the parts. We're not that rich. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so by my understanding, we didn't need to do any of this stuff because we had enough fuel to, to get to. Uh, 0117 from 0415 based off my piloting skill. But that's okay. We've already made these decisions, so we might as well just refuel and fucking bear with it. Yeah. Um, because we don't want to, if there's like if some bullshit happens, we don't want to just have no fuel at all. All right, so we'll refuel four days, 12 hours, back at the station, pick up the rest of the guys. How many days left of life support do we have? So you're picking up everyone? I mean, are we just going to abandon them here for the foreseeable future? Well, I mean, are you pick let me rephrase that. Are you picking up Billard? Let's be honest. <laughs> Kane? Can we leave him behind because otherwise he will kill us all? <laughs> Not like he won't act because he will be the cause of our deaths. It's fine. We'll just make a clone of him or some shit. It's it's fine. We'll get another bit, or we'll come back and get him. It doesn't matter. We're could, just not in the position to deal with this shit right now. Thank you. Yeah, could come back and get him. That wouldn't be the hardest. It'd be a side quest, basically. Side quest. You side quest. You just gained a side quest. R Bill's return. You left Bill on this research base to save your own hides. Will you ever go back and get him? Okay, so, next, so time, if... next time we do the faction stuff, just the Empire will be coming down from that station immediately <laughs> and just wipe it out. <laughs> okay, all right, cool. So we refueled, we got rid of Bill, we used seven days of our time before we offloaded Lantry and Bill, Bill. Then we used another four and a half days. Um, so f what have we got? So that leaves us with how many fucking days? Well, yeah, if we leave Bill, if, yeah, if we leave Bill, we got months. Like we got a month, but one month. All right, cool. Easy. Never well, that is super easy. Had a month, so minus the two days to go, four two days back, so eight days. So you're down to about three weeks in a day. Three weeks in a day, perfect. All right, cool. Um, so let me go. Two so days to leave. Jumps back, yeah. Five. So that'll be three, six. And then from that spot, we'll just go straight to 0018. Three, six. Cool. Done. Uh, which takes 12 days outside of. So we spend two and then 12. Boom, boom. We've still got like another. 16 days of life support by the time we reach 0018 and one fuel. I'm just going to assume you've done the maths on this. I haven't really followed too much what's going on. <laughs> yes, I've done the maths on this. And I'm going to revamp the way we... We're going to keep track of how many days per person life support we have so that I can uh, let everybody know if we're all going to die or not. And I, 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 I was on. just going to continue working on his machine gun. With what parts? Yes. Have you got spare parts? Yes. Oh, okay. Where, where, How where, much? Where did you get huh? these parts from? Uh, he starts with them. Yeah, they were with his gun, probably. Isn't it like a... He's, he's not taking the ship apart, don't worry. <laughs> well, I'm more concerned about him taking the cryopod apart, because that's some high-end pre-tech and yeah, he got two pre-tech components. Out of yeah, that. I mean, if he's... If he's no, I know. Technicians him. start with six units of spare parts. Yeah, that's what it is. Let me yeah, ask okay. that. You got two units of pre-tech salvage, not components. We're not, components yeah, exactly. It's, it's salvage. Uh, what well, was I, mean, I going to say? I mean, when you are... Uh... 
Salvage you can use for basically anything short of starships. Components are specifically for starships. No, components are needed for, for mods in general. No, you can use two. You can use you know, it's a pretext salvage for mods. You have to use pretech components for ship mods. Don't fight me on this, I'm destroying. Oh no, yeah, you're right, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't fighting, well, you know, I was just making sure, Han. <laughs> so, anyway, so we arrived back so, on the planet. <laughs> so Billard actually got on the ship and you left blank on the research station. <laughs> hey -oh. No, um... I'm... <laughs> yeah, you guys eventually get your way back onto the planet with just mo basically days to spare. You've been drinking heavily recycled water at this point. Showers have been a no-go just to cons just to conserve as much water as you can. The air has been getting hot and muggy and you can basically smell it. It's bad. As soon as you land on world, the highly polluted air smells like the greatest thing in the world. That just to give you guys an idea of where you are, you are on the planet Penny Palola, which is a heavily industrialized world, which see more or less has floating cities. These floating cities used to travel on great oceans, but hence these guys' industrial revolution, or second industrial revolution as it were, these oceans have since turned to industrial waste. Almost every native species of uh, aquatic life has either adapted or died. And yeah, they're just basically giant floating factory cities on sludge. It's pretty great. Well, this place is fucking fantastic. I mean, it's heavy industry, so yeah. You can buy basically anything industrial here that you could ever possibly want on the cheap. Because it's more or less industrial, a little bit of entertainment, and administration. Wait, isn't that. this a sex robot planet? There's no sex robot planet. I take that back. There is, but that's somewhere else. <laughs> there is a pleasure world somewhere in the sector. Uh, so, right. who is the boss? Oh, it does. Uh, I am okay. clearly the boss. No, you fools. I get, mean, get the guy... Who's the guy who we have to give this platinum to to get paid? Uh, go. Yeah, we, yeah, we, <laughs> no, like, myself and Tim will lead the way. <laughs> the guy who did all the negotiating was Big 8. He was the person who knew this contact and everything. Yeah, but Big 8's dead now, you know. Yes. Uh, uh, everyone to know about the steel. Do I finish uh, preparing my machine gun? How much did that machine gun cost in credits in the book? Uh, he could have afforded it, but I spent ha had so could keep it. I had like one thousand less than it was, so I just bought pretty much. I'm there. gonna say this. Yes, it. You have repaired it. However, it's ramshackled quality, so it's gonna take up a modding slot with fix zero as a base, and unless you spend. Uh, it's time to to maintain it every day. It'll fall to disuse and just kind of crumble. Ah, uh, so how can I make it so it doesn't do that? You're gonna have to more or less. You're gonna have to more or less buy another one. It would be it would be cheaper for you to buy another one than to make one. Ah, oh, damn it! Why spend forty? Yeah, someone. Someone got a bad deal, it seems. Wait, 4,000 credits on this? You spent 1,000 on it. Oh, 1,000. 4,000. Oh, what? How'd you get 4,000 4, 4, credits? How'd you get 4,000 cons? Uh, we started with more. Them. He gave us 4,000 credits to, to build characters with. Oh, uh, yeah, because they're higher level. No, no it was, it wasn't four, it was 2,000. It was 2,000, yeah. yeah. 2, oh, 4, yeah. Okay, 2,000. Well, yeah, it's probably been in, uh, it's probably a reason why I like this machine gun. It's really old, you war shit, the scream shit. That's it's literally an MG42. 
yeah, it's a tail free machine gun. So yeah, it works, but it's ramshackle, and the easiest way for you to get one that would actually just work nonstop is just to buy another. The as it is, it's sentimental at this point. It only uses one maintenance point, so unless we start maintaining like a ton of mods, it's not going to yeah. be a huge inconvenience. Um, so it should be fine for for ages. Anywho, Che, uh, Blank, Kane, I guess. Maybe I guess Kane. Actually, Kane, <laughs> Kane. I feel like Kane should stay here. He's just too dangerous to be left wow. in public. I mean, Kane is literally the next, the new big eight. <laughs> okay, I want you to think about it like this. If you leave him, he will be alone with the luck he has on your ship. And oh, there's yeah, no build to him. hold him back either. Get him off the ship immediately. <laughs> yeah, Art, Art yeah, is like, going to go and uh, go find the ship, the closest shipyard guy, and see how much it's going to cost to get the parts for extended life support. It's like 10k or 50k. Yeah, it's 10k. Is it 10k? No, it's 10k for us, yeah. Is it 10k for how much is it? It's like whatever it is multiplied by the ship type. Yes, it's like 1k oh, yeah. for a fighter. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's 5k for a fighter, so it's 10k for us. Oh, okay. no, it's, it's times by 10. It's 50k then. Yeah, it's Actually, 50k. Actually, on, on this world, oh, yeah, it's but... going. Yeah, on this world, it's going to run you about 9k. Normally, they can produce the parts. It's just main. They could produce the parts for really cheap. The only issue is there's not a lot of specialized labor for it, so you're mainly paying labor costs. But you're getting the parts for cheaper. So, so what, what if Arthur did it most certainly himself? You're not going to do it by yourself. You <laughs> it'll take far too long. You would need access to a shipyard, and there's only a couple ship docks. On this planet, and uh, mind you, I'm not trying to, like, say, oh, you can't do this because of fix. I'm trying to, like, literally ah, yeah, logistics, logistics. Yeah, it literally specifies that characters will need access to a shipyard to do that kind of stuff. Even a ship uh, workshop is not enough for doing ship mods. Mm -hmm. But this is on a you could do smaller class ships on a cruiser sized ship workshop. Mm -hmm. But other. <laughs> Than that, they wait. Oh, I oh it it's says the largest ship class at the very. I think it is. Yeah, What's the, the largest ship? Class? The workshop's bigger on a cruiser. Capital. So. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. Let's get it, paid. It, it, it's only gonna take you. It, it's only gonna take it's like what twenty five thousand credits. So ten thousand. So it's gonna take like half, less than half a day to get that on stall. But first, you need to be get paid Somebody. first. <laughs> Oh, actually, uh, I realized we can't get to life support because we need two power and two mass. That's true. Yeah, that's why. Get it either way. We don't need a sand thrower, and we don't need a multi focal. focal oh no, we fighter. do need those two guns. What do we need them for? Pirates. This combat. Yeah. With who? I don't know if we do encounter a pirate because we can't just you know rely on the spike drive running away because they hit the spike drive. Yeah, we're well, screwed. Stuck in the wall. Could you not just? Uh, you could Let me just go ahead and read severely. Don't mind me just designing a pirate encounter. Yeah. No. Um. Actually, all things considered, a little bit of meta knowledge. There was a potential space combat that could have been had in the system that you were in. However, you actually managed to avoid it, which is surprising since you were both kind of looking for it. Well, no, they made me do it with a passive scan on an active one. That's why. Yeah. yeah. So, there are there are pirates, but mainly they're not regu they're not relegated to spike ships. Normally, it's just inter system craft, like uh, very conventional. Think the fucking uh, the space shuttle. No, I was going to say the space shuttle with nukes on, attached to it, but you know, that works too. Small I'm not super shuttles. familiar with Stars Without Number Revised Space Combat, but can we still phase? Um, oh, okay, so it's been, that's the thing that's removed. 
That's yep. a real shame because if we could phase, then we could just be like, "Well, you can't shoot us, so fuck off." <laughs> no, literally. Is that... No, literally. The get, it's been revised down to now instead of being like, "Oh, we're in this phase, and they're in that phase, and we're shooting into that phase." Now it's literally just getting into basically knife fighting range and firing at each other. Right. Mm -hmm. Just phase like well, submarine combat, basically. You just went underwater and hide. Yeah, it's, it's like you slip into yeah. a slightly different reality and everything misses you. Um, yeah. That was what was like a big advantage of having a really high rated spike drive because you can go deeper into phase and nothing can touch you. Um, submarine combat, okay. <laughs> basically, you just go deeper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, plus a ship with more weapons is a pretty, you know, good target for pirates. Yeah, but we still have a spike drive, and most pirates in the sector do not have a spike drive, so we'll still outrun them. It takes it takes like at least three turns to you know to have the spike drive spun up. Meaning do... they could you know, it, and, and it only takes two shots. No, no, no. I mean, like the, the 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 conventional movement speed of a ship with a spike drive is much faster than the conventional movement ship of a sp of a ship without. I, I don't, so like, I to put yeah. that, don't we not? Can we do without the fuel bunkers? No, uh, we, need the fuel bunkers. we need. Yeah, no, we need. No we need... That's no, actually we need the thing that I think that we could well. probably do without. We don't really need That's the scoops. Well, I mean, the thing is, though, with fuel scoops, we won't have to pay for fuel. We can just, you know... You yeah, dump, but every time we... The thing is that refuel. having refuel the fuel scoops... Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, get rid of the bunker and just refuel it every star. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to pay for any fuel at all, then. But that still won't give us back the power that we need to have the expanded life support. Yeah, we drop one gun. Yeah. Well, we really need both guns. We don't I mean, need both guns. We need drop we need to drop like two masts, so I mean, if we can remove one from cargo space and uh, drop one gun, we should be able to. Can you drop just one cargo space? Yeah, yeah you can use up cargo space for anything. The cargo space is yeah. literally just what you do with leftover mass. Oh. Why not drop two cargo spaces and just deal with that? <laughs> you still need power. Yeah. Uh, okay. Power. Power. Besides, we're talking about all this stuff, and we haven't got a fucking dime to <laughs> our name. So let's get paid to see if we can afford any of this shit to start. Definitely, I. Yes, Kane also had the same suggestion. I don't know how he could have said that half an hour ago. And I wouldn't. No, he did, he did just say it. Uh, let's go get paid. Give me two seconds here, my dude. I don't think we need guns at all. For the one thing you're god at, okay. I just don't think we need guns. We because need I'm guns. just I'm that good. We unless just unless uh, Blank isn't very confident in his uh, technical warfare skills. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. In, I'm good at <laughs> my technical warfare skills, but we need guns. Uh, what no, do we just, need guns just jam for? Them, jam them, out, run them. That's fine. Yeah, that's it. Hippies. We need to return straight, and it's a contested role. If we fail any of them. Yeah, yeah straight, I roll. But we're them, so. I roll. I roll three d six plus five on pilot, which we got to four d six plus five on pilot, and I have re rolls. Like the chances of me getting outrolled on a pilot check are pretty fucking dismal, unless they are also as specialized as I am. I mean, knowing Hans, they might be. <laughs> I more or less go by the examples in the book. I'll just put it like that. I don't know what those are. Don't That's not like, he's not like Crave, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway. That's another thing. Uh, yeah. I guess it has to do something, okay. Yep, just kind of figuring out what your guys' payment's going to be here. Uh, per unit. So one of the few notes I wrote down, because I didn't write down many, of course, uh, was that we get 5% and 4k bonus. So whatever the total was. Yeah. You're correct. So we guaranteed 4k. Right. <laughs> Ooh. Just having the hardest time. Also, how long? There we oh. go. Okay. 
this is. Per unit. Yeah. Okay. So in that case, that's. Oh, yeah, that'll work. All right. And how many tons of cargo space do you guys have? That's the real question. One sec, I'm looking at it. Have you read on a ship, uh, ship character sheet? Yeah, yeah. We have eight units of cargo. That are yeah, which is roughly 160 tons in terms of ship size. 160 tons? Yeah. Good, good. We're just going to say for sake of uh, actual payday for you guys that they filled you about half of your cargo with platinum. Quite a lot of tons of platinum. Yep, 80 tons to be specific. Okay. That's a lot. Indeed it is. Now, I am going to have one of you guys... Once you actually, you, you find your contact, and she is a bit shook enough to hear that Big 8 died, but business comes first, and she has a calculator, and she's typing in her numbers, and I want one of you to, who, does anybody have the trade skill? Okay... Can I assist? Kane, Kane? has it. There you go. Uh, you need to have the skill to assist. Damn, I don't have the skill. But I am an expert. I could still re-roll it if I fail. But I need the skill. Yeah, you okay. need the skill to just start. Kane, go ahead and roll me a 3d6. Well, you... Yeah, you... Anyway, roll me a 3d6 plus your trade skill. Plus... Yeah, just your trade skill. Can you re-roll re expert? I would say suggest that you can re-roll, yes. Automatically take the better roll. Just press up. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. So you could have rolled anything between three, uh, 19. <laughs> you rolled a 9. <laughs> I mean, it's not three ones. It's not three ones. That's a good point. It's about average, yeah. Yeah. I mean, no, six is about average. Nine is slightly better. No, for 3D6. Oh, 3D6, I. Yeah. Technology level. Telekinesis. Yeah, nine, ten. Yep. I think Teleport. That's... Yep. 4%. You Tiberius get... Crawl. Trade. Inter yep. She says, alrighty. Well, uh, with all that. With all, oh no, hold on, uh, plus two to that, so that's actually an 11, which is better for you guys. Not by much, but a little. So let's see. All right, she says, fantastic. And with that, I will owe you 16,000 credits. Does that include the 4K bonus? Well, 20,000 then. Awesome. So we each get 5,000 then? Actually, oh, well, we need to pay off the shit debt. <laughs> Yes. There's so, no way we're going to pay off the ship debt with this amount. We're not even going to no, make but it I mean, out. like, part, you have to put part of it into the ship at least. Like, if we all just keep taking the money, then we're never going to pay off. Uh, make a share for the ship itself. We should, actually, uh, yeah, Kane's right, we should pay for the, sh the fuel and the life support first and then split. 
go pay fuel, life support, put right. some away for maintenance. Trade. Because there's still a maintenance cost attached to the ship. It's 38750 every year. Uh, I rear every six months. Is it every yeah, six, six months? months? Yeah. Yep. Hasn't it been, with all the travel and stuff, hasn't it been like a month now? I don't know, we got five months to... to um, it uh, has... We have to pay six thousand, six and a half a month. It actually hasn't been a month, it's only been about two weeks. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying we're paying it monthly, but that's how much we need to make per month, basically. Yeah, I reckon or you could pay. take that money and reinvest it in some cargo yourself, so you're not literally only making 4%. That wouldn't be a terrible idea, but I don't know what sells where. Well, you know where mining equipment sells. Or yeah. you can just look for other jobs. Oh, Aki Hans, uh, I'm going to be looking for bounties. Um, are there any bounties? Bounty points on this planet, by the way. Uh, yeah, there's probably a few bounties. They're mainly for in system gigs, however, and they range everywhere from a couple hundred credits to the largest being what appears to be literally an eco terrorist who's wanted for 10,000 credits. Uh, is that in system or is that within the sector? It's in system. Remember, spike drive travel isn't that common. I don't know. I'm just asking. I'm just making sure, you know. Yeah, no, I get you. Yeah, but uh, he's suspected to be in system and he is wanted for the bombing of several industrial facilities on planet. I mean, yeah, how about we, we chase this guy down first for, for an extra 10,000? Everybody feels very sympathetic towards this guy for some reason. I wonder why. You mean towards Kane or towards the terrorist? Towards the terrorist. <laughs> You're like, I don't uh, know, you know, maybe we should sense. help him. You know, let's go back to this guy for 10,000. Realize it's hard to find these airways throughout the windy I never said it was easy. I'm just saying, you know, we should go find him and get paid for it. So yeah, you guys, uh, are you guys going to go hunt down an eco-terrorist? Uh, there's been no objections. I mean, it sounds like the best way to make a bit of money in the short term. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, we don't need to have to, like, you know, like, leave the system. Uh, but yeah, how much is uh, life support and fuel, first of all? I think it's just a general 500 credits. Thank you, fuel and life support. Well, I don't think there's actually a cost There is for 20 that. credits per person per day. Shit, really? Where, where are you seeing that? Because yeah. I haven't actually been able to find that. Or are you getting that from uh, old edition? I literally, no, I literally just read it in the new one. Uh, yeah, where, which page is it? I was, trying to, I was trying to find it. It's at the start. Of... <laughs> <laughs> Starships, the history of space well, sector creation, extended, adventure yeah. creation, Xeno. Without extended life support, you have two months. Uh, oh, yeah, two I see. Months, yeah. Building a starship. Have, what, a maximum Example crew, starships so modifying. Six times 20. 120. Times, so 120 times 60, basically. 60, yeah, 60 days. Which would be. <laughs> 7,200 credits. Oh, damn, that's a lot. Do we not have anything left over from 
biopsy oh, annex and yeah, hospital. There we go. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Uh, uh, on average, crew members cost 100 credits a day in wages, plus 20 more for necessary food and stores. PCs Assuming naturally are unlikely to charge bio, themselves for wages, but they need to eat. Um, so it costs each of us 20 Sickness days curing per ability per is day. going 20 to be very limited per per and likely to exist on the ship. Ordinary PC biopsins who want to pick up some extra work curing sicknesses oh, can yes, usually yeah, HN temp employment credits per day per effort point uh, they have. Note that some patients <laughs> may Palmer's be very upset us, if the host group <laughs> fails to assign them a PC I mean, limited you know, effort. Palmer isn't really that much of a combatant, we can just take him down. I mean Kane, not Palmer. Unless we want to go and, well, go and attack sorry, Palmer. Yeah, Palmer. <laughs> yeah, not Palmer, my bad. Sorry Palmer. <laughs> So, Palmer, you better pay us if we could come and find you. <laughs> just for temporary work. Ordinary uh, PC yeah. Ryan, you just figured out how many uh, days we had in total, right? They have. So we got Note that uh, some patients seven, four, may be very failed to assign 56, them a PC's limited 56, effort. Uh, oh, what? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's 56 days to have six people. 336, right? Yeah, times 20, yeah. So it's only 6,720. No, That's not the money. I'm I'm talking about the actual units that we have to spend. Um, because I'm writing it down on the uh, ship's character sheet. So we've got three out of three fuel. And if we're at max life support, we've got 336 per, per, per PP, like person days worth of life support. Um, so I'll use that as the total. And then when we expend that, I will subtract it by six or by the number of crew members yeah, we, who are on the ship for that day. I thought we got here with like one fuel left. Uh, yeah, we had a fuel left. So we need two fuels. And we weren't keeping track precisely of how many per person per days we had. Uh, but we will from now on. So let's just say that, yeah. So we'll top off the fuel is a good idea. So we need two. Uh, fuel is... Actually, no, we, don't need, we don't need to pay for the fuel. If we can just go to a nearby gas tank or stall, we can just refuel ourselves. This is true. Yeah, we don't need to pay for fuel. For the fuel is, that, is that cheaper than the life support that it would cost for the four days that we're there? If only one person flies it, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I'm sure this system has a star. Yeah, it, it does. Like, all the systems with a, with a white dot have a star. Yeah, so we can just refuel in the system. We don't need to, you know, it's... go to another planet. It, it literally days. takes four systems. days of idleness. Four days of for one unit. So it takes eight days for one person. That's 20 credits per day. So that's like 160 credits compared to 500. Yeah. It's... Well, there would be 1,000 because there's two. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's ten, like, just over 10%. Or 16%. Are you sure about that? Because that'll literally take you out of the next session of the game. Where's Bill? <laughs> Why Bill's... the fuck didn't we bring Bill with us? He would have been perfect for this. You had to fuck it up, <laughs> didn't you, Palmer? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Palmer, Palmer, don't... Palmer, did you, did you get Connect 2? Or whatever, with the foci? Well, even with Connect 1, you can call in small legal favors. This is true, you can also do that, but the folk, the folk guy he's got where he got Bill from, when he gets a second rank of it, he gets his second person. I mean, he Hedge can keeper, also... Yes, so he can he, get an extra, he can get a pilot or something. Mind you, he can literally dismiss these people with no hard feelings and just get them back, and then they just accrue over 24 hours. He just yeah. finds hench people. Just pull him out of his ass. Essentially. Well, unless we get the expanded stores <laughs> or we somehow increase the maximum crew, uh, your hench people are going to be absolutely useless to us, unfortunately. That's the kind of thing that I've always thought about hench people. It'd be easier just to like get certain hench peoples on a certain planet and then just to have a series of hench people. He's not, a, uh, he's not a hench person, he's not family, he's literally dead weight, so we left him behind. <laughs> we had to cut him for ballast, otherwise we would have sunk. <laughs> we cast so, him overboard. Wait a second, wait a second. You guys 
return to the research base after your uh, brief. We fought at some point. Yeah, we did. Well, we left together. <laughs> Because we used the six hours, I did say that we'd, we'd come back again. We got Lantry, of course we got fucking Lantry. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> freaking Lantry. Shackled comes back. Yes, we left you on a station. <laughs> Ooh, about that. You know, that's just second character there. Do you want to roll a third one? <laughs> uh, yeah, so we worked out it would take us 160 credits to refuel the ship completely with a scoop compared to 1,000 credits to just buy the fuel outright. So we need someone to fly a ship and do that. Yes, but is the... Oh, never mind. But is it just sitting next to the star, or is it is it is this Elite Dangerous where you have to skirt the edge of the star and try not yeah. to crash into it? You no, no. It. You basically have to skirt the edge of the star, process it, and then go from there. So we want someone with pilot. Well, you can't, well, you're not in danger while doing it. You it just, just you skirt have... the star. <laughs> no, the, 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 the ship the ship has systems that are installed with the <laughs> fuel scoops that you literally set it on autopilot and it just does it. Oh, okay. Fair enough. So we get Lantry to do it. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna get Lantry to do it. The poor guy. <laughs> I guess that's what we're gonna do. What was the date of our last maintenance, just out of curiosity? Uh, the uh, well, date of last maintenance would be about a month ago. And what's the date today? The actual date. It's the 27th of January 2019. Space date! <laughs> the 27th of January 3022. Yeah. No, um, it's... Let's see. Month... Generally, you start first of the first three two zero zero. Actually, it would be about February something. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Halfway, it'd be halfway through February three two zero. So that was when the last maintenance was, or the last maintenance was the first of the first three two zero zero. First of the first. Okay, cool. So I've got that marked down, and the current date is. Okay, I'll make another person named Ted. Give me a second. So Kane, Kane is hiring a person who's going to fly a ship for us, it seems. Because we tr totally trust some random person Kane just found with our starship. Yes, but he's <laughs> compelled by game mechanics to not be a dick, so it should be fine. <laughs> Kane, we worked out everyone, it's just autopilot, we don't need them test skills. I can literally program it. So it'll drop us off, and I can program the ship to go and do it, and then come back. I just we just would like a guy to they be there, and something bad happens. Yeah, there you go. Now you have. <laughs> now you have Ted. Do we have Bill and Ted? Yeah, we're yes. gonna leave Ted on the ship, but we're not gonna be on the ship either. You can... Yeah. He's gonna sit there and stare at the fuel gauge as it fills up for eight days. Pretty much. Um, so where do we need to go? Where was the last reported sighting of said uh, terrorist? I believe there is only one planet in this system, so there's a good chance that he's on the planet. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. No. Yeah, there's only one major thing in this planet, and this is Penny Pola. And the last place he was seen was not in your city, but or the one that you're in currently. But in the southernmost city, where he, where a terrorist cell operating under him was thwarted by local uh, corporate security. Correct me if I'm wrong, but these cities are floating cities, which are separated. Correct. So we would need some sort of transport or ship to get between the two. Or you can just pay for. Oh, oh yeah, or we could just do that. Planet, Covert transit. Which includes <laughs> public transportation. Mind you, actually, that's a good question. What is everybody's accommodation on this, on this planet? Do you have uh, more or less destitute, low, common, high, luxurious? I think and... before we decide that, Kane needs to actually pay us. Yeah, Kane, what you paying him? You are the ship captain. To be it out. 
Make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain on these boys. <laughs> yeah, slum, poor, common. Yeah. Two D's? No, it's one D. He's like a TED talk. Should we do maintenance live sport? Don't we want to? We want. We're not always going to refuel at the end of a job or re life support at the end of a job. We need to put some away. Create either like uh, more than one share. We also need to put money away for ship mods. Yep, that's great. That's perfect. See ya. I'll get a grand. Uh, minus five crew morale. We, we all remember that. <laughs> and as a heads up, the lifestyles are slum, which is five grants a day. Poor, which is 10. Common, 15. Good, 25. Elite, 200. Peerless, 1,000. Let's just, I'm going to do common because it's 15 yeah, per like day, common. which is cheap, cheaper than staying on the ship and not like, <laughs> yeah, it impressive. is. Yeah, common. All right. Common lifestyle affords you a private urban apartment or rural home, a rented personal vehicle, a respectable oh, wardrobe, do. and a regular small indulgences. So probably in this case, you're not necessarily ground level. You're more than likely... God, pain. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> because of the way these people. <laughs> Oh god, what am, what am I missing? Uh, nice. Well, I wonder it is, uh, Hans is, is, is a respectable it's wardrobe include another OM. dress for Che. Probably like a, probably like a Walmart cocktail. Mac, dress. Mac is curious as to why we're all getting apartments real quick. Like, what the fuck are we doing? We got shit to do. We don't have time to get apartments and, like, live right, here. It's right in, you know? It's like and, a B&B. &B. And plus, do note that this covers your cost for, um, public transportation. Oh, okay. Well, there we get a rented personal vehicle, apparently. Yeah, yeah we get, like yeah. To well, putter, that's to putt around these cities, but... That's true, all, okay, yeah, okay. It also okay. covers, um, but it also covers, uh, public transportation, so there would probably be a shuttle or some kind of sky train, not sky train, probably there'd be something to get between cities easily that's run by these various corporate ent entities. There's no, like, one unified government. It seems to be, like, a pure corporatocracy. It's not like... Each kind of business controls an island. And... Wait, it's not like an Italian guy who, uh, goes to the mud, muddy waters. Maybe there is in the shadows. Yeah. Oh, another good um, thing for uh, various employees that you can hire. Prostitutes are two credits for the lowest, or <laughs> common, and 200 credits per day for a high class prostitute. Just saying. No, no, no. It's like uh, Shackles not here. <laughs> um... Literally, the person who would go for that shit. Yeah. I mean, now you're just going to get 10 ideas at this point. You might as well include a prostitute as a hench keeper. <laughs> ah! uh, what was that? No, we can't. There's no more. I don't want to... We, we need no more superfluous individuals on the ship. We got six. We can't have anybody else on until we get a better ship. Prostitutes crew morale, though. Yeah, but we... See, I think crew morale is never going to get above, like, a negative four as long as Kane's a... Wow. Based on some of his roles. Uh, what was the next thing? Blank. Yeah, what's up? You computer, right? Yeah. You computer. <laughs> Can you look into this individual who has a bounty out on him to see if he has any aliases? And also, if you could be so kind as to discover uh, if they have any kind of log of individuals who are traveling on public transport. Or airspace logs. So if this guy has done a job there, obviously he got there somehow. And if he's left, we'd like to know if he's left. Because if he's left, he's not there and we can't find him. So Hans, I'm assuming I'm, I'm scouring what's left of the internet in this well, place. Well, 
what's left of the internet. This, this is TL4. Has... It's a TL4 yeah, planet, it baby. It's got all the internet. Yeah, it's, it's got, got, it's got like... super space internet. Yeah. It's like an externet. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, let's go as blanks from TL from a TL5 world. This is primitive. Well, to be fair, your planet was going through a pretty heavy revolt the last time you left. So, anyway. Yeah. Um, but, you know. <laughs> the internet dies first. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you can right, okay. go ahead. You can go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do a it with a negative one, just because this guy has really done his work trying to hide his tracks. Also, it's a program, yeah, yeah, program with a negative one. I expect you're gonna crush it. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised. Uh, yeah, Messed you do some ordinary on this guy PC biopsies who want to pick up some extra. He... Temp employment with a local medical Name facility for 50 credits per day Billy. per effort no. point they have. <laughs> <Get him. laughs> we have to go back. No, his name is random number generator. 12. <laughs> I was about to say random number generator. Why? Um, uh, I'm going to, if they, why they're doing that, I'm going to. Do some freelance medical shit for 50 credits per day per effort, so that's two hundred a day. Bonkers. I just... I need to... Give me a second here, my dude. And then we will. It's gonna be... Awesome. Wait, as a doctor? Have you even got skills in heal? He's got psionics. His name is Umar Wagner. Could you put that in the chat so we can write it down? Thank you. Blank, is this bloke going to the alien eye? Alien eye is the plural of alias. Wait, what's up? He's asking me if the guy's got any other aliases. Yep, I'm trying to get things to... You kind of hold this on me, so you're gonna have to give me a second to, you know, build an eco-terrorist wing as well as the entire politi politics behind literal eco-terrorists, so give me about 10 seconds. If you start counting, I swear to god, you're losing XP. 12. <laughs> Two. I started at 12, because Gain rolled a 12 on his contact. That's connect, that might actually be useful for yeah, fucking actually. once. Actually, yeah. This guy's um, actually an old friend of mine. <laughs> it's pretty cool I turned that into an actual skill. It used to Correct. just be, like, yeah, it used to just be universally homeworld because, like, the world's most popular original base stars without number Let's Play series on YouTube, um, Swan Song. Uh, he invented that skill for that, and that was incorporated into the game in the revised edition. Uh, which is always he, nice. Because he thought it was fucking, it's a cool idea. It's a great idea. It's 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 perfect. And he, he like, generated its own individual bonuses based off of character backstories and stuff like that. And so, Wait, which skill? Connect. So, like, you automatically got a plus one on connect on your home world, or if you had Spacefarer as a background, you automatically got a plus one. So a couple other things like that. Uh, your charisma modifier was also included in the role. I can't actually find a good eco terrorist. I'm just going to put in sci-fi terrorist. Yeah, that that'll work. Oh. Yeah, not him, but I'm saying... Oh, why is there a picture of me here? <laughs> <laughs> it was Che all along! <laughs> so... Just a picture Jay. of Big 8. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's good. I was on that topic, Che. Oh, okay. How's, uh, how are you holding up? You doing all right? Your, your, buddy, your buddy's uh, AWOL. Uh, what is it? Uh, I, I, I'm assuming out of character that uh, stuff that happened in IC happened over the travelling time, probably. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, I've uh, spent some time distracting myself 
but I still still want to do something about it. He's, he must be alive back there somewhere, so I need to find some way to... Yeah. I need to find some people that could go back for us and possibly scare with some proper equipment. This is Umar Wagner, and yes, what you're seeing is accurate because one of the things that you d dig up is he seem is various reports saying that he appears to have, or at least in some degree, is a psychic. These if he's a are some people say that yeah can, i was gonna say some people say he can melt things with his mind others say that, that he always seems to be able to get out of situations no matter what if he's a psychic then either he's going to be a burnout and, a, and like a, a renegade or he's going to have uh, a record of his training Actually, that's a good a point, because you do find that he was a corp... He was at one point a corporate psychic who built primar... Or at least his trainings were primarily in tel telekinesis, as well as teleportation. Right, yeah, we should have brought Smith along for this. The, I mean, it was that's one of the reasons he hasn't been caught yet because he literally yeah. is a psychic. He's probably one of the most powerful people on this world. It's fine. We just need a meta psychic. Does anybody know any meta psionics who can like and fuck this guy up? Maybe actually, Mister Palmer does with that connect roll. If that. That's what he'd like to use it for. I mean, we need a high-end metasionic, like somewhere at skill level two with metasionic, because they so, can yeah. get powers. You'd need to find someone who's kind of out of your league right now, but yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like a high high-end metasion is like six hundred a day. No, um, it, it's based off of the skill level of the skill that we want to yeah, like, take like, advantage of. Only a level two medicine can go head head with this guy. True, and, and question, level two is six hundred. And the and question, I mean, and the question is, is do you feel that's going to be the only way that you can beat this guy? We I mean, we have out. to <laughs> exactly. That's that, but the thing is, if we've got a medicine, we can stop him from teleporting. That's the key. That's why we need the medicine to stop him teleporting. I mean, you also I mean, may or may not have an assassin with you, but you know. I mean, yeah, we do have two assassins. Yeah, true. Yeah, you also you also have uh, the guy who can use magic, who can magically heal people. And you got I a guy who's yeah, that's going to help monsters. us, you know, capturing this guy. Is it dead or alive? Hands, Kane's, Kane's asking. Or is it? Is Wait, it? What do you mean? Is it dead or alive? What's dead or alive? It's the bounty. bounty. Do they want him alive or do they want him dead? And does that affect the price? Uh, alive is highly preferred. Dead is acceptable. It, well, we'll get so there. You will get, you'll get, ten, you'll get the base 10,000 if he's brought in alive. You'll get 5,000 if he's brought in dead. Okay, so we need him alive. Okay. And right, the phone died for Palmer, so he's going to be a moment to probably get back in. Well, shit. It doesn't prepare for anything. <laughs> it's the best, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway. May I suggest then that we try and get ourselves recruited? Get yeah, ourselves some what? Yeah, we've get got to get we've, recruited. We've got to find some money. We've got to figure out how to get paid. Uh, freelance. Like recruited by him. By. Oh, to become terrorists? As a cover, like if we just if we if we're just gonna try and find this guy and attack him straight out, then go teleport out. If we can get recruited and get his trust and everything, we can get close to him. Oh, I I'm I'm good at uh no we don't have a good liar. I mean we do have Palmer. Or Palmer Kin. Do we though? I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not super confident in our ability to infiltrate, like in, in socially infiltrate. That is, I'm not certainly not confident in my ability 
to do so. Um, I, might not, I might not be able to talk the talk, but I can walk at least. Hey, I have no idea who the fuck I am, and I don't even... I just make people. <laughs> That's good. That is would... there any other work going? This is the bounty board. I'm, I'm looking if there's other options, if there's any hauling work or uh, passenger <laughs> transports, anything else like that. Well, it's a bounty board because it's specifically bounties. Other than that, there is there are a, a different of... board? <laughs> yeah, there's like a well, literally this. There's a space Craigslist, um, essentially. Uh, most of it seems to be stuff that you would be very overqualified for. Is it, However, you mean it's sex things, list? More or less. There is one job specifying that it needs a starship ready crew and the pay is 50,000 credits for three months work. And Kane's right and stuff, by the way. Yes, I see it. Why don't we bring right supplies to the research station? That'd be easy. Might... No, just 50,000 for the job. For three months work time, so about fifteen k a month ish. Probably more like thirteen. What's maybe. the job? It says VIP escort and protection. You okay? You. Well, no, it's, we can't escort a VIP because we haven't got the life support to support the damn thing. <laughs> That's true. We can't do the job either way because we have got life support. Uh, wait, if we take off one of our guns, could we sell the gun to f put in the life support? We don't have the money for the life support. We take off the gun and sell said gun to use the money from the gun to build said it's, life support. It's a, it's a, a hundred k, and none of our guns are gonna Not sell hundred k. Yeah. The life support thing you said was nine k. Yeah, it's nine k. On this planet. Nine k. Where for the except? But the extended life support, it's 10k. Well, no, it's 50k, my bad. For extended life support, it's 50k. Yeah, but Enhanced said it's 9k on this planet. Oh, well, it's, it's 9, it's still multiplied by 5, so it's 45,000. Yeah. Well, this, Hans, can you confirm that? Can I confirm what? How much is the life support on this planet for our ship? You said 9k earlier, but is that for a fighter or is that for our ship? It's for your ship. Wait, that is for extended life support. That's less than a fifth of the listed price in the book. Hold on, yeah. I thought you guys said it was 10k for a fucking guy. That was before we figured out we had to multiply that by 5. 10k for a fighter. You sons of bitches. You're supposed to lie to the DM and make sh him assume he's not going to check? Hold on, we, we so made it. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, let's see. Uh, so yeah, the thing is, life. what I'm thinking is, if you reduce the base cost to nine, we still multiply that by five, so it's forty-five thousand. So let's see. Extended life support. You multiply that by five. Ten. Ten. So fifty k. Yeah, it's fifty k for the extended life support. You need two each. Yeah. It, it, oh, on this world. So you're still paying for that. You could, probably, you could get it for... Uh, Palmer, make me a trade roll. Not bad. Alright. See, so, I'm still thinking, depending on how morally aligned you guys are, if we were to infiltrate the eco-terrorists, they could provide payment. Oh, actually, Don't necessarily okay. have to kill the guy at the end of it. You could get for thirty-six thousand. Thirty-six thousand. Thirty-six thousand. Yes. Still not enough. We. Uh, we take the gun off. We can pawn said gun. Yeah. For how much though? Half plus whatever we could part negotiate. So, which gonna we? Are we um... I mean, all things considered, you guys do have a very valuable commodity that you're not dealing. Very valuable. The pretext. 
Great tech salvage. Yeah. That is true, but, you know, we, we need that. <laughs> For... What? For mods? That's oh, mine. fuck that! Like, a plus one on a roll in exchange for, like, 30,000 credits? Go fuck off. <laughs> yeah, that's assuming we get 30,000 credits for the damn thing. Yeah, but the thing is, I, I, I feel that at this stage in the game, with the how, like, finite this crap is, eventually we're going to be rolling in this shit. So we might as well trade it in for money so we can get ourselves a better ship, which allows us to survive in space, which will end up making us ideally... <laughs> What we technically want to do is... speaking, it technically belongs to Arthur because it was his idea to take it. It doesn't it belong, belong to Arthur. It belongs to the crew. Get yeah, stuffed. It belongs to the crew. If Arthur wants to claim for himself, you know, he'll have to kill the crew to do it. Yeah, it's got a heavy machine gun now. <laughs> that doesn't work. Yeah, Bearing well, mind, we... Four of us awesome. on him. If you want to, if you want to, if you want your kleptomania or whatever to collect everything, then you're gonna face more and more of this. <laughs> like, yeah. If you're gonna claim everything, then yeah. How and much can we get for? Sandal, well, if you just start claiming everything for yourself, just because it was your idea. I mean, if we like, took the sandal Sam throw off, because we need to take something off anyways to attach the. Extended life support. That we need to take two things off. Now we can just use the spare cargo space. That's true. Arthur is just sitting there drawing up like plans. He's like, "So okay, if we take this, sell this, take this off, put this here." So it's thirty-six k, and if we, um, yeah, if we can remove the sand thrower. We might just have enough if Palmer can go good on his. Um, so we need a plan B for sure. <laughs> yeah, so the sand thrower we can sell back for fifty thousand. For sorry, for twenty five thousand, plus yeah. whatever we can get from the. Wait, uh, is, didn't he say half of the price? Sand thrower was so, uh, two hundred k. Yeah, so yeah, the yeah. sand thrower will sell for twenty five thousand plus whatever we can get on uh, half Kane's. Of, half a sand uh, thrower is two hundred. Is hundred k. No, no, it's, it's not. not. 25k. Because yeah. uh, weapons aren't multiplied by ship type. They're just mm -hmm. base. How much are we paying for the ship? What is the interest on the loan that we took out to afford the ship? 10%. 10%. Per month, per year? Per an, it's an annual rate. Cool. Give me two seconds. We pay, yeah, we pay 75, well, 7 point, uh, no, it's 77.5 a year. Yeah. Meaning uh, we need a lot more money. That's, that that's just interest. Yes, congratulations, everybody. Where you're playing starts with that number. Mm -hmm. This is literally how you play starts with that number. Um, okay, so we've got the base price of the ship is 775k. Uh, have you got it written down? Because I'm the one writing this shit down. We pay 77.5 thousand credits in interest a year at this point in time. So we've got uh, 11 months to invest more than 75,000 credits in the ship to even begin to reduce the debt that we've got. The idea is we don't Plus maintenance. necessarily reduce that debt, we just sell the ship and get a new one and get a new debt. <laughs> or we what run have away you done? We, I wrote that we down. flee to the Empire. <laughs> the Empire will pay us well, we should go there. <laughs> oh, actually, Hans, are there any wars happening, by the way, in the sector? Because people pay quite a bit for mercenary work. The major powers haven't made We're not yet. exactly mercenaries, my friend. There we're, we're kind of. Is, there are actually rumors of a faction mobilizing somewhere near uh, 80. 
Sorry, 0808. <laughs> right, yeah, we'll go into the Empire, let's go. I mean, that's real. <laughs> Realistically, that's what's happening right now. There's a. I, I hear rumors that they have very, very good ships as well. If you want to trade. Oh eight, oh eight. It would literally <laughs> take us like six to twelve months to get that, and we can't afford the fucking food and shit that we take. We cannot. It's a. There is a very big empty space as well. Exactly. Like... Yeah. There's no. There's no. We can only go two hexes at a time with our spike drive. No, you could make it. See, you just uh, you go. We'd have to go all here, the way to like one, three, one. Oh my god! Three yeah, one. we have to go round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can make it. How much so, can we sell the pretext salvage for? Let's just start accruing money with what we can do. Paul, roll me that roll. You sexy thing. Actually, I take that back. Um, don't roll me that roll just yet. <laughs> Tool consumer. Six plus your trade minus one. You better roll good, or I'll beat you up. Actually, in this instance, he wants low. You so, better roll I, bad. He's gonna roll so I well. He is. Okay, I take that back. I take that back. Minus your trade minus one. So with a collective minus two. And what's this for? I know you do. Oh, his, his, his computer is broken. I take it back. Okay. This is what it is, definitively. I don't think he can hear you. This is what it is, definitively. No, 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 not like that. I mean, he said he has connection issues. Hey. Actually, that's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. Yep. You can get about 55,000 credits per part. Well, well, uh, yes! However, the person that you're selling it to... He seems... You're pretty sure this is probably going to kill children at some point. Let's just put it. Who the hell cares? That's fine. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> oh, a, oh, well, we don't think, sell Okay, so if we get 110,000 credits, we could fucking skip the enhanced uh, extended med base and just go for a spike drive level two, which makes everything take half as long. Which will theoretically double the amount of uh, double the amount of time we have. It's basically the same thing. If we cut everything in half, we use half as many supplies. No, but then we're cutting down our supplies by quarter every time, though. So we're not actually going to use it. Though. Well, no, we're not, because we're not picking anybody else up on this planet. We've only got the six of us. I mean, where are we going yeah. then? If we're not going on this planet, where are we going then? We could literally go anywhere if we go to Spike Drive Level Two. We'll be able to make three hex jumps. We could go to the Empire in less than a month. <laughs> I love that. That's the plan. <laughs> I'm, sure, yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying that we could. I mean, sure, that's the plan. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like people pay up. We, you know, mercenaries do make some money during wartime. That. And we can also sell both of the weapons because once we've got Spike Drive 2, we are literally four times faster than a conventional spacecraft. How are we going to be effective mercenaries without a ship with weapons? Yeah, like, By I not got... shooting spaceships? I mean, that's the thing. We need guns on our spaceship because even, even if we go faster, spaceship weapons don't have a range. So long as you're in the system, that guy can shoot at you from anywhere in the system. That seems outrageous. 
I think it's set, like region within. You have to be within that like six hour transit space. You do have to be within that six hour transit space. Otherwise, we'd be sitting at the sun, pot shot and mining ships as they come into system, take them out, steal their <laughs> shit. Because it takes them so long to get from place to place. It's 110,000 credits. We need that money really badly. Yeah, yeah why well, no you guys... I'll argue with you, sell that ship. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. it I'll, I'll just take it. Uh, yeah, you want to just do what? I'll take it to the guy. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm... No, 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 no. Kane has sold the ship for 110,000 credits. Okay, no, beautiful. We don't trust you with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, hang on. We... Hang on. We'll still... Hang on. We can't get us um, a, a drive to upgrade well, right now because we still need to remove. Yeah, we still need to like um lose. We still need to, like gain two power and two mass. This is correct. Well, we have the mass. We just need the power. So I say we just sell the sands or I'll get that three power back. Or the laser. One of the two. We'll just get rid of one of them. I mean, sands for isn't really that much use. We'll need. To... That's what I'm thinking as well. AP twenty is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we sell the sand for Sell that shit for yes. twenty five thousand plus a trade roll, I guess. Mm -hmm. Right. Go ahead, roll me your trade there again, Mister Palmer. See, this is why you keep him around. No, it was a negative one anyway, so it was a, it was cancelled out. No, no, just roll me your trade skill for this one, specifically your skill. Unless you've got specialization, you've all three d six on trade. Yeah, probably not. So we go with that one and two. <laughs> oh, not bad. Yeah, you get for five percent more. So was it twenty five hundred? So twenty five thousand. Uh, you get for twenty six thousand two hundred and fifty. You can technically only use your expert skill if you fail a roll. No. I don't think yeah. that's right. Read the text. I, I, oh, you can reroll a failed skill check. That's a good point. Yeah, okay. I, I have been so disappointed in that skill in a campaign where I'm a player. It really rustles my jimmy sometimes. I mean, this is a new scene, technically. That's correct. But he didn't he fail failed. the roll. He succeeded, so he can't reroll. And throw a mine. It's done. Sheet has been edited. Oh, she flick around on the sheet. <laughs> I was thinking, like, what's going on? Yeah, because I'm keeping track of all the numbers that are coming up. Um... Just I'm wondering why you're going into the edit mode every now and then when you can. No, that yeah. first one, that wasn't me. That was somebody else entirely. Yeah. Uh, I've got, we've got it written down. Uh, 26,250 for the sand thrower. So right now we have a surplus of uh, 136,250 credits that we've just received through trades. Um, uh, if we get paid more, <laughs> oh. we've also uh, ended up restoring back the because the sheets are clever. It has automatically refunded us our mass and power. So we currently have a surplus of nine mass, including our. Oh, cargo that's power three... available. Uh, I was wondering why it's been both at zero all this time. Like, <laughs> why uh, they got maxed wait, out? Because we we're using it. it. Wait, it's times five, right? Uh, where did oh, you get that sorry. extra three no, thousand credits? I mean for the. Oh, because you put three thousand away. Ah, perfect. Okay. Cool. So wait, it's it's times ten. Okay. Oh, okay. Then we can't afford that one. We could. We could almost afford a spike drive. Actually, I think we can. No, no, wait. That's too much. We can't afford a spike drive. No, we can't afford. There's no way we can afford. I can drive. go and negotiate us a deal on a rank two spike drive. The base drive. I mean, you could probably wait. If you did well enough, we could 
negotiate a rank three spike drive. Actually, you do, actually, you do a little bit of talking, and you don't find anybody willing to sell you a, a higher tier spike drive. In fact, it doesn't appear that there's any industry for that on this planet. That being said, you are told that there is a in the sect in sector zero two one four. You'll have a better chance of that. In fact, you'll probably get a better deal on all spaceship things since there is a major shipyard there. In fact, that's where your shipyards from because the sorry, that's where your ships from Ship. because the company who owns that uh, TSY or Tia Song, uh, sorry, Tia Song, you know, sorry, Tia Song, let me go ahead and just write that out. It's 214 up here. Yeah, it's just past the get bill um, zone. So, yeah, so unfortunately, uh, because of the way Kate's doing it, we have to fly here first and then here because we can't leave without getting bill. <laughs> oh, well, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. that shit. Okay, so I'm looking over the the like uh, the thingies we've got. We've got a. I'm looking for systems with planets with TL4, with TL4, um, and at, at this point in time, uh, 0217 does not. So I guess the next one I look at is 0016. How well? I've always wondered this has. How well is this sector map? Like, how good is that knowledge to, or how readily available is it? So that's what I'm trying to say. Everything, everything that you see here is what has been conventionally mapped out. There oh, okay. might be so could things. Be more stuff. W there might be things in the hexes, but those things either have yet to be discovered, or the knowledge is held secretly. Okay, I was wondering more like, do we know that there is a tier five planet in? X, whatever, or do we double know 0015. Tier 5? Uh, there is a TL5 planet in 0015. It's... I, I know there are some around on that map, but I'm just wondering if that is like common knowledge or if that. It's common. Because like, why would everyone not be there? <laughs> because it's a TL5 planet, it's not, not that big a spectacle. Even though it's TL5, that means one of two things either A, it's alien technology, or B, it's technology that survived the pre scream but cannot be easily replicated. Because almost all TL5 technology that made it special was Psy forged, and almost yeah, all okay. of those techniques were just completely lost to the scream. Okay, or it's just the inhabitants are killing each other constantly, and like yeah, and we Psy forge need to fucking a lot of, replicate. I feel like a lot of times it's it it can be. Oh, okay. Here's a question for the GM: Is it safe to assume that a planet with a TL5 rating on the map would have the same services as a regular TL4 planet? Is it safe to assume that? Yeah. It, yes, 100%. It's just that that planet might have a local specialty or might have technology that otherwise uh, other might, otherwise might surpass it its neighbors. For example, uh, let's say there's a TL4 plant and a TL5 plant right next to each other, and the TL5 plant has better medical technology. Then, obviously, there's going to be a, just a huge to the two planets, but at the same time they might still have the same fucking Starbucks. Space box. Space box, yeah. As in the maximum for what? The the like the second the rank two? We're currently at rank one. If we go up to rank two it's a hundred thousand credits. Yeah, but we can't buy it on this planet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Uh, how long does this all take, by the way? How many days? How much does what take, sorry? How many days does this take? I'm asking the GM. Oh, we haven't done, we haven't done anything. We're literally sitting in the meeting room having a talk yeah, we're about what we're going to do. Uh, it's currently <laughs> February? February the something. All we've done is research and refuel the ship and everything. But we haven't really thought the plot yet. Oh, wait, the ship probably hasn't even refueled yet either, because that's gonna. <laughs> we haven't even set off yet. We can probably do it ourselves. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I hate you guys, because now I have to make the reference. You left Billard on that research station. That makes him. 
Bill Nye, the science guy. I suppose, yeah, I suppose he is sciencing. Good on him. Hopefully he's useful for them. <laughs> they just experiment on him, like try to figure out why he can't talk. <laughs> could go back and he could be like a talking guy. You never know. They might cure him of whatever ails him. Billard Nye, Nye, the talking guy. (laughs) Doesn't have the same room. So do you want to put 39,000 or would you want to put like, let's let's make it like 19,250 onto the ship and then Dude, you can't even do a fucking voice for yourself. Don't worry about Bill. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> do, do you want to put 19,250 on the ship just to start paying that off? So we've got 10,000 in reserve, 100,000 reserved for the upgrade, and then we'll, we'll, we'll pay some off so that our interest isn't going to be the full 77.5,000. It'll be like. I like that. Okay. I okay. Do. So we are probably going to chart a course. I'm just going to say, oh, two, one, I'm just gonna say four. the major factions have barely spread out in this map. Like, what, what makes you think the person we owe this loan to is going to be able to chase us across the map? <laughs> Who do we owe that money to, just out of curiosity? Just some corporation, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, you owe it to uh, not Tai Song themselves because they're the shipbuilders. You basically owe <laughs> you owe it oh. to Big D's Starship Emporium. Big D's Starship Emporium. I feel like so. Here's the thing. It's what you, I would do. You took the loan from the exchange. Yeah, so I'm guessing that the ship has some form of a kill switch that can be operated by the people who have it. So basically what they'll do is if a certain amount of time elapses and we have not made a payment, the ship automatically turns off and just drifts in space until we all suffocate and die and then sets off a beacon and then they come and pick it up. I mean, mean, you can't send a communication to somebody without waiting like two hours for it to arrive. If you think like (laughs) they're going to be able to send a signal across the galaxy. No, it is on its own timer. That's attached to the ship and nothing else. And every time we make a payment, that timer is reset. No, I was just going to, you know, have it be that they would send out a ship to collect you, basically repo men. But I like that idea. You're just giving it an idea. (laughs) Yeah, it's because it makes the most sense. Why wouldn't they do that? That's that's obviously the most sensible thing to do, is just to turn the ship off, have it drift in space until such a time as someone's able to come and collect it. Okay, so we're going to go sell all the stuff. We've already sold everything. We have a lot of money in 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 the bank. We've decided a good opportunity of what to do. Uh, we've, I feel like we have come to a decision on what to do with a lot of that money. We're going to save 10000 just to have in case of emergency. Uh, we're going to spend 100000 to upgrade the spike drive on the ship, and we're going to spend 19250 of those credits to pay off some of the debt on the ship. Uh, how long What's does all this take it? in days? That leaves us with, uh, leaves us with 10000 in the bank and nothing else, aside from our own personal. F- then, uh, what was I thinking? Actually, 23k in savings, Palmer says. You missed 10k. Oh, I missed 10k. Did I? I mean, if you already have 10k in savings, you might as well just put the put the remaining in into paying off. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. No, that is a good point. You're right. Oh, 20,000, not 23. So you have twenty k in savings. All right, okay. Well, that's that's fine. I'm happy to keep twenty k in savings, unless we want to split that out a little bit more. It depends. We could we could have like two separate funds. There's ten thousands for like rainy day, and then we could have ship operating costs on another ten thousand. That ten thousand could go towards the maintenance, for instance. Uh, you paid us for the work we did, not for the trades we just made. Thanks for doing mm-hmm. the talking on those. You did a good job. So what I'm thinking is that we find 
out the planet that we're going to, uh, we find out what they want on that planet and we just buy some of that and we trade it over when we get there. So, so see if we can make some even more money off the trip. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, that works. Yeah. So I guess if this is an industrial planet and we go into a shipyard, like we'll just get the raw materials that they use to build something. Like, simple. Yeah. yeah. I will direct you guys to Sons of Gold. Technically, they're both considered industrial worlds. By the way, uh, Sons, is Sons of Gold a corporation? Uh, it's no, a, no, no. It's, it's a PDF. It's a, oh. it's a supplement for the original game, but it's very forward compatible. In fact, this game is very bad. Uh, the revised is very backwards compatible. It's a supplement for the first game, which goes it's into trading a deal with trading. I know it. I read it. It's got trading, and it also has hero Screenshot. characters where you play one-man campaigns. Screenshot. Mm -hmm. So both are industrial worlds, so it's a minus two on the trade roll for consumer goods, meaning you'll get less, minus one for tools, plus one for agricultural, and plus two for mineral. So I have, have adjusted some of the cost values, though, to better reflect what's in the book. So do note everything that you see in the book might not directly reflect what it's worth on planet. Kane, you're the you're the you're the SW fucking money and trade guy. Pipex of the Find the thing that can sell for the best. Do that now. <laughs> chop chop. Go. I, I, I can't like clap to say chop chop because Jeez, I've got pushed to talk on. I just try to understand what's going on in this book. Honestly, <laughs> scrolling through. Well, do note there are a couple other plants around you they could check out. Yeah, there are a lot of them are lower TL yep. that I could. I but we want cultural goods. Agricultural goods. Not that um, it's directly next to you. Okay, is there? So we want something in like that 106, uh, 0115, a 0015 cluster that we could sell. Um, That's TL2. Well, That's I mean, an asteroid. Oh, they got the, the only good planet is 0015. But wouldn't TL2 TL5, yeah. But wouldn't TL2 serve? direct purpose literally just buy some like some pause tech good some pause tech consumer goods where you are take them to the tl2 world trade those for cattle and then take that cattle up to the industrial world or just that sounds like a great idea kane we should do that uh, you're a great captain kane <laughs> great captain kane. uh just I know I keep asking this, but how many days does this uh, take to get 200 credits? We haven't figured that out yet. We're not that far along. We're, we're probably just going to decide this and then jump on the ship and go. <laughs> like, we're not going to stay here long, are we? No. We decided the bounty was too much effort and not enough money. Oh, sorry. I decided that the bounty was too much, <laughs> too much hassle and not enough money. I mean, yeah. It was like, yeah, if this wasn't such a fucking dead end system. Did I take to say 10k meant 2 million credits? <laughs> no. Well, based off the difficulty, I'd expect it to be fucking 2 million credits. Got a teleporting psychic terrorist? Well, the only thing he's committed is a couple bombings and because it's literally an entire industrial world, they can retool the, some machinery to rebuild the carrier small machine. station, large state. So it's literally just people lives, and they're like, eh. Not to like judge, but I feel like this guy could probably pick a planet where he could do some some more some more rules, some some better. Uh, what was I thinking? What? More damage. No, yeah, like he could do some more good. Anywhere other than here. This place is done for. It's it's too far gone. Find somewhere else that's better. Maybe there's something else. Maybe he's just maybe he's just been labeled an ego terrorist by the corporations because he's there's <laughs> I'm just saying there might be more to it. There might not be. Since I made this character on the fly. You haven't I figured it out yet. Really, yeah, could be anything. We'll maybe find him he's... one day. Yeah, maybe he's like uncovered some grand conspiracy or some shit. I don't know. 
yeah, that looks okay. I mean, uh, is there anything to do in 0016? 0016, give me two seconds here. 0016. 1TL2 planet. Right here. Uh, yeah, we do have oh. to stop there, so oh, is I it worth you spending? Can't, you can't actually buy cattle on that planet. Uh, 0015. So, okay, let me tell you why 0016 you can't first. Because it's an oceanic world. Holy shit. And what little surface area it is, is very urbanized. So you'd have to buy, so you'd buy a lot of fish, not like necessarily cattle. On that other planet, 0015. Yeah, at the, people say stay away from that. There's a big red flag on that sector saying those who enter here are doomed. What, 0115? 0115. Oh, no, double, double 0015 is <sighs> no-go? No, no, no. 0115 is no-go. Uh, okay. 0115. Five. They are... They're a... T That's TL5. It's... It's okay. They're, they try and stay very... They, they seem to... Their government seems to be very xenophobic for some reason, but, but at the same time, they seem very accepting of bringing in new people. It's just more changing their culture around out external influences that they're... Oh, afraid of the of. space Mexicans. Yeah... However, there is something very interesting there. There is a noted orbital ruin. No. No, 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 no. We're not. We need sure bets. We're not going to go explore a, a, a ruin at this point in time. Orbital ruin? Arthur's like, yeah, let's totally do that. You can go and have fun. Here's a vac suit. I'll shoot you at the airlock as you go past. There's, ooh, actually, oh shit, look at that. There's also a, oh, there's actually a very extensive asteroid belt as well. Yeah, oh, a double one five has got a whole bunch of shit on it that I thought would be interesting, but you said that it's no go. Sorry, no, no, double oh one five is no go. Oh, double one five okay. is 100% <laughs> there. Awesome, that's where we're going then. So we're going to go... Uh, up from double O one eight, we'll go hop hop double O one six. Double O one six will skirt the fringes of, but not spend the two days going into or out of. Jump over to O one one five, go to the asteroid base, uh, hit up one of the mining stations, and procure some raw materials. We will then move those raw materials up to O two one four. We will sell those raw materials at O two one four, and also inquire about upgrading our spike drive at the extensive shipyards that they have there. How's that? Does anyone have any objections? Is there anything we're missing? Any kind of glaring, uh, like uh, we're all going to die if we do this kind of situation? The trip will take uh, two, three, six. Uh, sorry, it says uh, two, three, six, nine, eleven. Then we spend some time in 0115. Then 13, 16, 19 to 21 days all up. So 21 days, give or take a day or two. Actually, it's going to take you two days to even get to the asteroid. So at least four days on top of that. That's I, I, I factored that in. Oh, nice. Uh, with only six crew members and not seven, we have much, much, much more time to spend in space, which will leave us with a lot of time left over when we get to 0214.
space pirates. What? Also, we've got to worry about fuel. So it'll be uh, one, two, three fuel to get there. Uh, and if we go to 0115, based off of the infrastructure surrounding the uh, asteroids, I believe there is a refueling station there called Kanas 9 that we can refuel at if we need to. Kanas 9? Awesome. One per spaceship, right? That's not Kanas 9. It's C A N A S, and the N's got a wobbly bulb over the top of yeah, it. Yeah, that's an N Y, so it's a uh, Nya. So Kanyans. Right. Uh, Kan. Hans, yeah. Hans, how long does it take for a spike? For, for a spike, how much fuel does it take for a spike jump? One. One per jump. Right. So that's not just... per hex; it's per jump. Yeah. So why don't we just head straight to straight to where we are, and then just refuel with the fuel scoop? Because that takes what? What do you mean? We just jump all the way there, that refueling, and then we just refuel. Because we can only jump two hexes at a time. Yeah. yeah but I we mean, have so free fuel. Green arrows are jumps, yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah. One, yeah, so two, three, jumps. three. We can make it. Yeah. yeah. We've got to stop at yeah, 0115 to buy uh, materials, so we might as well refuel while we're there, so we have extra in case something goes wrong. I mean, I don't think. I mean, you you've got what you've got Star Pharaoh one, yeah. Yeah. I don't think anything's gonna go wrong with these jumps because of how commonly traveled they are. Actually, that route isn't that commonly traveled. At least the one you're specifically going to. If you were to go, the most common route is actually. Most people go here, probably. Yeah. Well, that's a black hole. Why would you go anywhere near that? Because it's accessible. You're jumping across open space here. Most people don't have a, a spider. Oh, yeah, they can't go two hexes. A lot of people can only go one hex at a yes. time. I guess you're right. Oh, that's not. Everything. We don't want that. <laughs> don't find that. Don't worry about it. Hey, we might end up like at the other end of the map or something. <laughs> that's how they hey, work, right? <laughs> six, six hexes. You get six hexes max on a fail. Like a fail, fail, fail. Like a super duper fail. You just end up in the. Their sector. Six seconds in a random direction and system damage, ship system damage, which we can't repair. You can play through the black hole, I guess. Yeah, you it's a gravity well. We can use it as a as a beacon. So, like a lot of people would stop in O one one six. Yeah, I like. We don't need to refuel. I would like Average to. Average Is that everybody? Is everybody happy with that plan? Got no objections. Blank. I mean, are we refueling at the spaceport, or are we refueling with a fuel scoop? We'll probably refuel at the station. It's right there. Yeah, it's Mac. We do have quite a lot of cash now. Yeah, but the thing is, though, we're being very frugal with how we spend our cash. It's just you know. Are we? It, yeah. We've got a shitload of cash now. <laughs> yeah, we've got a shitload of cash, and all of that's going towards payments, not towards crew, not towards, you know, personnel pay. So the fuel is f only 500 credits. Would you rather us sit there for the four days, spend 160 credits on food, and just do this false fuel scoops? Well, it's 50, is it 50 credits per fuel? Or was it 50 credits for the 500 per fuel? Yeah, with a fuel scoop, it's just four days and the ship gets entirely refueled. That's four days so we're sitting there that pirates go attack us. Pirates can attack us, you know, even as soon as we enter the system. Yeah, but like, that's four days longer we're attacking. sitting still. <laughs> like, it's, it's just generally cheaper just to, you know, use a fuel scoop. And refuel the entire ship, rather than pay a one thousand. Well, 
take us eight days then, because we want to refill the whole entire. No, you only need to do it once. That does the entire ship. No, it does. It. No, 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 I'm right on this map, aren't I? Four days is one unit. No, it says in the fuel scoops, the extraction process requires four days, but completely refuels. That's right. He does do that. He's totally right. Yeah. Oh, Why oh well, we we spent longer. Then we we refueled the ship earlier, like for two for eight days or something, didn't we? No, we don't. No, it's just four days for one. Oh yeah, but I mean, on the way here, Palmer's, on the way Palmer's here, make, we, yeah, exactly. We we took. A lot. Oh no, we refueled only one unit. We didn't do both. We only did one. We didn't uh, take okay. too long, but we didn't get the two fuel that we were owed. Which means yeah, we get an extra so five hundred credits because we've got one extra fuel than we had before. Yeah, I mean, like it's much cheaper to refuel. Like it's either paying, you know, one thousand or one hundred and sixty. Wait, was it one? Oh, okay, yeah. It's still you have to spend four days sitting still, though. I mean, we're gonna have to sit, sit still while they're loading all the sh all the stuff anyway and offloading. But not four yeah. days. <laughs> we won't be in open space, and it won't take four days. Yeah. But it's just much more expensive. Oh, calm down. We, we calm down. Calm down. We don't need that shit. Uh, we want to come to a decision here. We want to we want to make sure that everybody's on board. I don't mind just spending four days, but if we're attacked, then yeah. <laughs> I think I we'll just I I look. Uh, I think I'm in favor of just refueling at the refueling station. It's only going to cost 500 credits in the long run. It's not going to be a huge amount. Well, no, it would cost thousands of credits because we're refueling. We're, yeah, are we we're refueling completely? Or two units, units. thousand of credits. We don't need one unit, though. Well, no. We should get where are we, we, are we refueling at 0115? Yeah, it's going to cost yeah, we don't need, a million. We don't need any units at all. Or we can just go without if, if it's going to be easier. It, it doesn't matter. Okay, it's, it's a matter of. Look, I tell you what. We got we a personal payout, right? We got 1,000 credits. Yeah. I will just pay for it myself, so we don't have to waste the four days sitting there doing nothing. Can't argue that. I mean, if you're paying for it, sure, yeah. That's that's okay. That's the, there. We go. We've decided now. It's no longer a problem because it's not going to cost us any extra money, and it's not going to cost us any extra time. And they those. I was worried yeah, about the time. You were worried about the money. Let's go. I think that that Mine. is it. Um, okay, so on this particular planet that we're on at the moment, we're going to O one one five, which is a mining station. What can we buy here that we can sell there? So we'll do two separate trade trips over the journey. Buy something here, sell it in 0115. Buy it in 0115, sell in 0214. <laughs> Kane's actually rolling well. <laughs> You're doing a great job, Kane. I don't think we need that much kind of that, that level of enthusiasm right now. We've still got a little bit of planning to do. Hans. Yeah. Is there something that we can purchase on, in the planet we're on that we can sell at 0115 for a profit? That's for, that's for you guys to decide. I'm just here to react. No, no. It would be tools. That is a good point. It would be tools. Uh, uh, let's buy some tools. All righty. In that case... I think it's minus one, which is actually good for you guys. And the tools per unit. Well, <laughs> all right. There are some tools here. Uh, basic hand tool. Are you looking for basic hand tools? Industrial, astronautic. Industrial. Medical, industrial. All right. 10k per unit. <laughs> 10k per unit, yes. How much space does a unit occupy? One unit occupies one ton. So we have um, currently 160 tons worth of possible cargo space. Uh, You're going to have to have them buy all this shit. 